without any further ado, here's where we're going to pick up. So, Donnie, you went back to your own residence, as did Rocky. Um, in Rocky's case, temporary residence yeah. while he's in New York. Um, and you were going to go to one of like the moderately priced hotels, yeah? Yeah, just okay. like an average. Sure. Um, the rest of you, you three, Francis, uh, Prudence, and um, Thelma, have retired to Lady Prudence's uh, residence here in New York City. And I, and I believe what you said is that it's just a regular room that you rent out at the Plaza Hotel, right? Waldorf. At the Waldorf Astoria. No, you would never the go to the Plaza. No, the family that owns the Plaza. Not the Plaza. The most that that family's ever done was tell a five-year-old where the lobby is. That is wild. <laughs> Down the hall to the left. <laughs> um, okay, so... We are going to go ahead and pick up then in Lady Prue's hotel room. So feel free, Lady Prudence, you can describe what this uh, what this room looks like. And then for you three right now, the day is yours. Oh, yeah. In this room, uh, she asked for this room very specifically because um, the wallpaper has birds, all kinds of birds just go flying in every direction, really tacky. It's green and pink. And just absolutely birds are flying everywhere. And there's like taxidermy birds <laughs> on the... Ew! <laughs> taxidermy <laughs> birds! But they're, like, off? they're like doves. Wait, hang on. Did, so you, they're like, did you bring these with you? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me start I, re- I requested that for the wa- from the Waldorf because I liked oh. the presence of doves. Because you're very influential. Yes. Oh. <laughs> veto the shit like I vetoed Hoover. Damn it. <laughs> we were coming up with like, because I told you guys, hey, you can have a contact for the campaign. Buddy messages me and he says, um, can my haunt- contact be Herbert Hoover? Think <laughs> <laughs> <Hank> smaller. <laughs> I wanted Herbert Hoover so badly because he wasn't president at the time. You can have like James Langford's racist grandfather or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, continue. But yeah, and so um, she is uh, sitting there on a very, um, it's a kind of one of those hybrid chair ottoman thingies that aren't that comfortable. And uh, it's there, it's with like cherry upholstery. Mm. It's like red cherries on green. So it's like really tacky. When you said cherry, you didn't mean like cherry wood. You meant like <laughs> no, cherry. No, like cherry, sketchy. like okay. cherry. And a pulse. It's very oh. true. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she is sitting there giving um, a lecture oh, to no. um, uh, oh, Francis. Nightbot sniped Sam's mom again. Ah, oh, come on. For what? <laughs> We're using too many emojis. Hey, oh, <laughs> Eldridge, at Eldritch Base in there and see if you can fix that. Anyway, sorry. Continue. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, and uh, Lady Prudence is. Uh... <laughs> That's hilarious. That's uh, one of our new commands. <laughs> I love that. Amazing. He, um, she's giving Francis and Thelma a lecture on um, appropriate um, attire for cotillions so that you'll know in the future. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, it's your no. scene. Oh, oh. Oh, and so uh, that is why you should never show your ankles whenever you go to the cotillion. <laughs> because it is unladylike. You understand, Thelma? Okay, question. Yes. <laughs> What if I did show my ankles at the cotillion? Would they just shoot me? Would uh, they take a shot? Take me out? Absolutely not. That would not be proper. But then you will have to adjust your behavior as well. Isn't that right, Francis? Ah! <laughs> 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 Oh, I forgot that I was here. She is on my side wholeheartedly, aren't you, Francis? Uh, See, exactly. <laughs> she was on my side the whole time. Was I? Yes, of course. Now, 
Do, now, do, remember, next week is the Republicans' annual cotillion ball, and I want you to be nice and screwed up for it. I'm not going to the Republicans' annual cotillion ball. Jackson Elias is dead, and you're thinking about the Republicans' <laughs> annual cotillion ball? I'm sorry, that <laughs> happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> January 16th, <laughs> the day after January 15th, upon which Jackson Elias was murdered. Oh, yes, well, well, we'll deal with that as we can. <laughs> we cannot uh, forget our manners. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Who's a you, know, you know who didn't have very good manners? You know who had bad manners? The people who killed Jackson Elias. Ooh, Yesterday, last obviously. night. Those are wicked, wicked people. They're probably communists. <laughs> it's probably what they something are. Something tells me. Something tells me they're a little worse. <laughs> something just tells me that. It's a feeling. But it's what feeling is worse than have. a communist? Oh. Once you see red, I'm scared, and oh, well, I never go anywhere red. <laughs> well, apparently, it's someone who shows her ankles at the Republican <laughs> annual cotillion ball. Apparently, that's worse than a communist in this house. <laughs> apparently. Oh, it's okay. I'll I'll just teach Francis. Maybe Francis will teach you, and you'll learn from Francis more. How does that sound? Would you like to come to the Republican cotillion? I think I'm good. Uh, <laughs> Cutting across town. <laughs> as we're doing exactly what I predicted to you guys. <laughs> All the stuff that I prepared for this week. And here we, here we are with Cotillions for the first 15 minutes. Um, I love it. That's why I do the show. Cutting across town. Um, would you like... Uh, excuse me. To, uh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Not the ladylike view. Would you like to tell us what your living situation looks like and what we're seeing there? And tell uh, us what Donnie DiCicelli is doing this cold, blustery January morning. Uh, so it's a it's a shitty New York one bedroom apartment. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the occasional rat. What um, borough do you live in? What borough? Yeah, uh, Manhattan, Bronx. Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, of course. Brooklyn. Um. Cause, Cause I'm tough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a shitty one bedroom apartment. Um, uh, he, he and his wife don't sleep close together. They kind of <laughs> it's it's like it's, it's about a queen size bed, and they're like as close as they can get to the sides uh -huh. without falling off, turned away from each other. Mm -hmm. um, and every morning, uh, Donnie wakes up and tries to move as little as possible. <laughs> and try to spread it as quiet as possible uh, so as to not wake up his wife. Not out of respect, but because he does not he does not want to have a conversation with her. <laughs> before, before he gets time. <laughs> um, so he's, he's going to try to uh, sneak over to the closet and put on his policing gear uh, as, as quietly as possible. All right. Uh, well, roll stealth. <laughs> Let's see. It's 20. 33. That's 33. a fail. So you almost pull it off. You almost do it. Um, what happens is you're putting your belt on and it goes and you click it. I don't know if cop belt click, but yours clicks. <laughs> and then from across the room you hear I'm going to continue to try to sneak out. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to voice your wife? Because I didn't know you had one. Or do you want to do your wife? <laughs> you, can, you can do the wife. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the NPCs that I wrote down this week. All of them. <laughs> Not once did I know I was going to have to do Donnie's wife. And she's the like, first one of the night. I told you. First one of the night. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, you know what? She doesn't say a word. <laughs> she doesn't have to. You know that she's up. Okay, yeah, and as I'm walking out the door, I'm just like, yes. 
<laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go uh, make a cup of Joe. Um, drink it, <laughs> drink it as fast as possible. Okay, don't. And okay, don't. Uh, and then walk out the door. What? All right. Where are you headed? Um, I'm going to. So I probably heard that they were staying at the Waldorf. So I I'm, I really want to follow up on this whole Jackson Elias thing because I kind of misled the police, uh, and, and we were the only ones who know what actually happened. The police of which you are a member. Yes. <laughs> you just you lied to a superior. <laughs> you you well, lied said, you lied to someone higher uh, up you know, on the train. You know I don't want him to have the credit. You know. <laughs> cool. So you're headed to the Waldorf. I'm headed to the Waldorf. Okay, I'm so you find Lady Prue and them. You arrive in the lobby, and it's pretty nice in here. It's pretty bougie. Um, people are going to and fro. The continental breakfasts are being made, and bellhops are running around with uh, with the luggage and everything. Um, what do you do, Donnie? Uh, I want to walk up to the uh, the front table, the front counter, uh, and ring the bell. Okay, ding ding. Um, a young woman comes pretty quickly. She has got a little hat on. She's got some nice lipstick and pearl earrings. Um, yes, sir. How can I help you today? Uh, Lady Crew's room. Lady Crew? Lady Crew. <laughs> I don't know a Lady a la- Lady Crew, Lady Lady Jew, Lady... <laughs> is, is something wrong, officer? Crew! <laughs> uh, Crew, Lady Crew. <laughs> Lady old, an old Prue. woman, she had a lot of money. We do have a few of those here at the Waldorf. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, are, is, is the matter? Or is she in trouble? Uh, yeah, she she's in a lot of trouble. And I, uh, yeah, I, I, me being the police, obviously, I, I gotta get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Why are you so sketchy? You are a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, uh, uh, how do you say police o- officer? <laughs> um, <laughs> was <a> problem, officer. <laughs> um, she says, "Oh, yes, 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 yes." Let me. Uh, uh, do you remember? Do you remember her last name? I don't know why I was doing this. I'm flipping through papers. Uh, it was, not typing. It was, uh, lady, uh, lady, was lady your first name? L- lady Prudence. Prudence should be your last name. Prudence is a pretty <laughs> common name. This is 1925, after all. All right. Well, just give me all the rooms with Prudence for the last name. I'll, I'll do some investigation. Prudence for the last name, okay? All right. <laughs> and a few moments later, she hands you a steno pad. Here you go. Prudence. And there are six different names that have Prudence as the last name. And the room numbers corresponding. All right. Now, just, just to narrow this down. Check six rooms on six different fucking floors. And there are uh, six rooms on six different floors. I, I don't want to do that. So, uh, this, this lady, this lady Prue, uh, she, she had two other women's with her. Uh, there was one, she was, she was one of those flapper types, you know, she's, she's all getting down the streets and dancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, was her hair a little tangled? I, it might, it may have been. Okay. It may have all been. Right. Uh, and she was with, uh, some, some jazz lady. You know, jazz lady. Yeah, she plays. She plays jazz. She got a trumpet and shit. You know, me, I say jazz. You know, just play the fucking right notes. You know, <laughs> but you know, teach his own. <laughs> I, I did see a woman with a trumpet. Um, hang on, give give me that paperback. I think I must have given you some wrong information. Oh, you know what it is. Hang on, here it is, right here. Prudence is the first name. <laughs> Prudence Claythorne is who you're looking Lady for. Prudence and because you're a police Claythorne. officer, I trust you not to do anything bad. Oh, absolutely not. I never would. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, what woman what, what did it say? Is what, that? what floor are you on and what's the room number? Oh, how tall is the bill? Uh, how tall do you want it to be? Uh, I'm not Googling that right now. <laughs> uh, she's on floor 60. Holy Jesus! Wow. Okay, well, there's not. not... <laughs> okay, twenty-two. Oh, that's still pretty high. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, you're, on like... you're on floor seven. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just answer the question like the DM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that really bad. <backfired. laughs> what room number? Is well, what do you want to be on? I hate that answer. Oh, you're on floor seven. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Okay. <laughs> Floor seven, room seven eleven. Yeah. Uh, all right, you uh, you've got an elevator. Yes, of course. The finest Pullman cars. Uh, I don't care how fine they are. I just want to write in the fucking thing. Where where it's at? Such language. Yes, go. Uh, it's right over there. And you all can right. see multiple elevators. Ding. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the elevator. I'm gonna run up the floor seven. All right, cutting across town again, Rocky. What is your situation looking like on this blustery January sixteenth morning? Okay, so Rocky wakes up in his hotel room, and it's just like covered in like scientific equipment, just like set up, like all in on every surface available. There is like some form of either like. Uh, like testing equipment or like stuff to develop photos or <laughs> Kira had to reclaim her bathroom. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, and lot, lots of notepads about to. And so he uh, he wakes up and he finds the, the photos that he took yesterday. And he just kinda like stares at them for like fifteen minutes. And these were like, photos like, of uh, of the room where Jackson Elias yeah, was killed. So it was the, the room and also <clears throat> like the also Jackson. So he he like fixates on the one with the, the symbol in his forehead and he's gonna go off to the library to try to match the symbol to Okay, very cool. I'll throw us over here right fast so I can put that symbol on the screen. Mm-hmm. I know. So you make your way to the library and which library is it that you're going to? Um Last time it was like the, the was it a Hall of Records? Yeah, there was the Hall of Records. Probably, if you're looking to go to like a library, library, the New York Public Library was open in 1925. So that's the big yeah. one with the lions that Bill Murray ran out of in Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll, I'll go to the. Okay. There we go. I don't have it uh, queued to a key tonight because I have a limited number of keys, so I had to I had to find it. Um, okay, so that is the symbol that was cut into Jackson Elias's forehead. Um, okay, so you head over to the library. Um, you are very comfortable in the setting, so I'm talking. There are shelves and shelves and floors of books. Um, it's even one of those where they have like the big. Um, the big uh, like stair things that you have to push like along a track to get to the higher shelves. Um, lots of people sitting down. They just have books open. There were probably even lectures going on in some of the rooms surrounding. Um, so you're very much in your element here. Um, so what you're going to do is roll me a library use roll, and we'll see if you can turn anything up about this. That's, <laughs> no, that's a fail. That's a fail? OK. Yeah. So here's what's going to happen, because I like failing forward. I'm still going to give you something. I'm just not going to give it to you right now. So Rocky's going to have to spend a little bit more time here um, than you would have to turn this up. Yeah, Rocky had memorized the layout of the library in his town, so like he didn't need to like <laughs> talk. But like now that he's in a less familiar place, he, he's having trouble finding his way. Very good. Um, <clears throat> here's what I will tell you. Um, and then we will we will cut back to you later in the day. The part that you're going to get right now, indeed, after a few hours of pouring through these books and just all kinds of like um, like historical tomes, and uh, even there's some National Geographic magazines that you look through. Um, you do indeed deduce that this is the symbol of a cult. You find the symbol. Um, it is a symbol. Uh, connected to a cult that came somewhere out of the Middle East, um, possibly possibly part of Africa. That's all you get right now. Um, and then I'll give you the choice, actually. If you would like to keep reading, I would be more But it is going to take a little bit. I mean, not a long time, real world, but you'll be here longer. Or if you'd like to conclude with that for now and come back later, I will also let you do that. No, Rocky has a, a hunger for information. All right. He, he will not stop until he's satisfied. <clears throat> All righty, Rue. So he's going to hang out at the library for a while. Um, the library does have a public use telephone. It's one of those candlestick telephones. Hello? Do you use that to tell the group what you're doing? Um, yeah, I, I would call. Now that I, I know it's going to take me long. I thought I would to get the information. I'll call them and be like, hey, I'm at the public library. I'll be able to. Cool. Um, so the telephone rings in your say for the sake of moving the game forward. You guys exchanged information. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Telephone rings. Mm -hmm. You pick it up. It's Rocky. That's what he said. One breath. Rocky, how are you as an... I'm at the public library. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I know all that. I just want you to know what you're doing for your country today. I'm looking at the symbol that was carved into Jackson Elias' forehead. Uh Oh. What a patriot! What a patriot! Did he say? Did he say Jackson Elias? <laughs> um, he he did, Thelma. But to you, it sounded like this. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Elias. <laughs> Jackson Elias. Jackson Elias. Jackson Elias. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We uh, I appreciate you doing the research. What should we do today? Whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Thelma, <laughs> get the car ready. We're getting our nails done. <laughs> so oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh my nails done. Maybe should be getting your nails done. Maybe you should do something that will actually progress something. Ooh, okay. Well, there's one thing we can do. We can go to the museum for which this Carlisle expedition is a part of. <laughs> okay. You just, you just think of that off the top of your head? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you like to metagame without telling me you like to metagame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I was going to tell you guys too, you may have noticed, uh, you that are in person, there is a folder on the table now that says collected props. At any time, if you guys want to take one of the items that you've collected so far out of there and look at it, you can. Um, so I don't mind if you do it while we're doing other things. If you're going to spend a while on it, like, hey, let's revisit this thing and actually talk about it, say it, and I'll put it on screen. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Okay, do you think that it's going to be at the Guggenheim? Oh, I'm a fan of the Guggenheim. If it was built at this time. (laughs) That sounds more useful than getting your nails done. (laughs) Never (laughs) underestimate the job of an artist. How how bad do your nails look? Oh, they're they're like nude colored, but they're still like chippy, like nude colored. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't like a chippy nude. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, please let us know if you find anything. We're here at the Waldorf. I will. Oh, thank you. Oh. <sighs> Goodbye, American man. Who, which? <laughs> now, one thing I will point out, because we've not used telephones yet, all of your characters would know that at this point in history, um, do you guys know what a party line is? Okay, no. <laughs> Question answered. Um, <clears throat> at this point in history, it is only 1925, and while the telephone has come a long way since its invention, you're getting a history lesson. Thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Um, most of them run on a circuit that will include probably up to 100 units. So, when you are on the telephone right now, there is a chance that somebody could just pick up and listen. Oh, now, I forgot about that. If you that. are very well on some sort of direct line, that could be a thing. Um, right now, though, you're in a hotel. Um, the rest of you aren't wealthy. There is a chance, anytime that you're on the telephone, that somebody could listen without you knowing it. So, not that any crucial information was exchanged, but your characters would know this. Keep it in mind anytime you converse using a telephone. Telephone. Wow. Telephone. Cool. Okay. So... Moving back across town, um, he is going to go ahead and keep doing the library thing. Uh, Donnie, uh, you knock on the door, and you who are in Prudence's room, knock, knock, knock. I actually pound on it. Wow. And I say, <laughs> please open up! Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Donnie's an asshole. <laughs> I don't just tell them it's Lady Prudence's room and tell them to go away. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Who are you speaking open to? Up. Do you, Thelma? Go, go deal with the deal with the officer. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I've I've had a hard day. I didn't get my the, coffee. The day this hasn't morning. started. 
The day hasn't started, and you're usually the least traumatized. I am just useless until I have my morning Joe. Boop, 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 boop. Say. Open this door, I'll break it open and shoot you! Okay. Jesus! <laughs> oh <my God>. Donnie! <laughs> Donnie! Donnie! Oh, very well, she waddles up to the door. And she she opens the door and she's like, Where's your manners? Oh, hey, how you doing? It's you. I'm just gonna walk in. <laughs> Donnie, what the hell? Well, I had to get in somehow. You could have just you... said it was you. I guess you... this was pretty effective, though. I'm I'm in the room, man. <laughs> it's less effective. Ugh. I would have just opened it if you just said it was you. You scared the out? living daylights out of me. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Work my way too. Can't go back in time. So what are we gonna do about this Jackson Elias thing, huh? You got chocolate on your shirt. Oh, uh, shit. you didn't have to point it out, but uh, thank you. <laughs> Is that from your chocolate donut? <laughs> That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> even, even better the second time around. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were just thinking about going to the Guggenheim in order to find out about this. Oh hey, no! Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck is the Guggenheim? Oh, it's a museum in New York. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the Guggenheim. Where yeah, the Guggenheim? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, we can check up on those things that we can find in the museum. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we heard from Rocky. Rocky? Yes, we have heard from Rocky. And What'd he say? He to the I museum. don't he know doing? if I can trust you. You all know if you can trust the police officer. No! Well, he... You took my niece you to the on the last night! <laughs> and uh, she had crazy. a wonder... <laughs> she, she, had, she had a great time. She smelled like the backseat you know, of a Studebaker! You know what, you know what that smell is? <laughs> the worst <laughs> kind of car! You know what that smell is? Uh, smell is? That's the smell of life. Life? Life smells like the back of a Studebaker. And you'd know that if you'd ever lived it. <laughs> t-shirt. T-shirt. Oh. T-shirt. 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 Merch. Oh, show it up your donut hole. Yes. <laughs> Is that my mouth? I hope so. <laughs> but I... Wait, I just... Shelma was saying something. You can go to the cooking line. Just can we just talk about this? Because we need to figure out. And there are a couple things we need to figure out. Um, cult symbol relation of the cult symbol to Jackson Elias relation of Jackson Elias <laughs> and the cult symbol to the what's their last name? The uh, Carlisles to them. How are those How are those things connected? Well, wasn't there a letter? It is well, There was a letter that was dropped at the scene of the crime. Well, why, don't, why don't you give it a once over? Was the letter it uh It wasn't near We don't know where this letter came from. It's uh Addressed to Mr. Carlyle, but we don't know. Could it be Mr. Carlyle who's the murderer? That's the wrong one, too. That's always possible. There. He definitely had motive. Because this uh, letter came out of the pocket of someone, and if it's addressed to him, and it was, it was in his pocket, or he just stole well, it. Maybe. Well, Jack, well, Carlyle's supposed to be dead. And if Jackson Elias was trying to warn Carlisle about what was going to happen to him, but then Carlisle died first, and then, <clears throat> and then Jackson also died same way. Oh, oh yes, boy. how unfortunate. Well, well, uh, I think we can find more clues Aren't you about... sad at all? Oh, I'm tragic. It's <clears throat> a deep loss to uh, the art of archaeology. It's a damn shame. Can you show a genuine emotion, please? Can can <laughs> someone show a genuine emotion other than me? Other than me, does anyone want to? 
Ooh, yes! I think we're kind of running out of time. Uh, you, you want to put those oh. tears away and uh, we can... <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll just suck him back into my face. <laughs> there you go, out of girl. <laughs> In the letter! Keep it all inside. Shit. <laughs> In the letter, it talks about a fancy major. Faraz Najjar. Eden got sniped again. Eden, just play it safe and don't use any more symbols. Uh, uh, it says that in the streets of the Jackals, who claims to be in possession of a singular... Curio? Ah, give me that. Ah! Easy! <laughs> Goodness. Sorry. Wait, where, where were you reading that? That's oh, the box for that box. Yeah. <laughs> Singular there's, Curios. That's the fancy major. <laughs> uh, in the streets of the, the streets of jackals. Okay, okay. The singular, uh, who claims to be in possession of Singular Curios, which he believes will be of great interest to you. Where can we find some curios? Did she mean Cheerios? Mm -hmm. And there was a... Uh, there was what also a... What did I say? Yeah. Card. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing, go ahead. <laughs> oh. And there was also a business card that was dropped. The Pinhu Foundation. Oh, Edward. and the business Edward card. Again. Okay. No. Um... Well, we should go... I mean, no, who was... Okay, wait. Was the business card for... Was that the one for Aubrey Penu? Or was that... Like Edward Gavigan. <clears throat> oh, then... Uh, it's on screen oh, if you Edward want to pull Gavigan up for Sam. At the, at the Penhu... Foundation. <laughs> now, is this guy still alive? Thank you, Steve. I know all these I people. Think so. I think so. I think the... The guy who owns the Pen who Penhu Foundation is dead, but I think that person at the Penhu Foundation, from what I know, is still alive. Oh, so he's the director. we should visit. It might might behoove us to check in on this guy. He's in London. Yeah. Uh, do these phones reach to London? <laughs> <laughs> so we you would know that international calls are possible, but they tend to take a long friggin' time. So what you would have to do is you call, the operator picks up, and you say, please connect me to this number in the, or, sorry, in England at the time, I think, or Great Britain. Um, connect me to this number. Operator's like, okay, cool, hold. And it's probably going to take about 45 minutes to an hour for her to connect the call. Because uh, the operators have to call the other operators and send the lines through. That that is an option. Unfortunately, we don't have a phone number. <clears throat> we have an address. <laughs> Does anyone know who Faraj Neja is? He could we find it at the at the Guggenheim? Well, it says in the streets of Jackals. Where is the streets of Jackals? I, I got no clue. I just spent all my time on the streets of Jackals around here. <laughs> we must find the streets of Jackals then. Because this Faraj Neja in the streets of Jackals has a singular curio. Which will be a very interest to whoever the... to this person. Very interest. Much well, wild. don't yes. Jackals live in Africa? <clears throat> a Jackal's an animal, right? What's the fastest Jackal? way to Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Let's say uh, I'm going to call the... Can I call the concierge? Yes. <laughs> I'm call... Hello! <laughs> concierge! Lady Prudence here! Room service? Yes! Uh, do you know what the Street of Jackals is? The Street of Jackals? Yes, yes, yes! The very same. Uh, hold on, fruit. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm not 
Sure. Um, I can point you to Broadway. Oh, well, how about does the old quarter ring a bell? The old quarter, the old quarter. Um, well, mm, I mean, you could go to the old, the old quarter, quarter of New York here, I guess. We don't really call it that, but. Ooh. Hey, ask him about Feja. How about Feja Meja? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we have lobster on the menu. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. I'll two. <laughs> I'll send them up right away. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, no, that will be it. Do you know anyone that street of jackals? By the way, no, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, okay. Um, do, do you have a geographer on staff? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, fresh out of geographers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you know any geographer? <laughs> well, um, I suppose if you're looking for a geographer, you might check you might check the university, uh, Columbia Ooh. University here in the city. Oh, Columbia! Ooh, go Rams! Well, we can go to Columbia. That's like thousands of miles away. Anything else, Mrs. Claythorne? <laughs> yes, we're fine. Okay, I will send those lobsters up right away, man. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want three sticks of butter. What? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Did you just want a food? <laughs> she, uh, she said, I'm going to rate them one star after that. They hung the phone up on me. <laughs> one they... star on what? On <laughs> the service here. How dare they hang up on you okay, said, she said what did she else. say? She said no. <laughs> what? You said I'm good. Of what? <laughs> just move, just move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it also says it's from Cairo. I... Hmm. I... <laughs> okay, Cairo. Well, I told you. <laughs> Jackal, Africa, <laughs> Cairo <laughs> is in Africa. <laughs> But she did tell us that we could check out Columbia University if we want to learn about all that. You know, I bet if we went there or the Guggenheim, we'd find a bunch of smart people. Mm -hmm. And we can talk to them. Smart people know things. Oh, good. Why don't you go to the Guggenheim and I'll take the girls with me to the university. They'll learn a thing or two about learning. All right, Donnie Dickichelli's <laughs> going to the museum. <laughs> On this week's episode. Wait, I'd rather go to the museum. <laughs> Donnie goes to the museum. <laughs> Donnie saves Christmas. <laughs> he just kicks in the North Pole door. Get out! <laughs> I, I want to ride in the cop car. No, <laughs> man, you're coming with me. He has I want to ride alone. in the cop car. He has Why? To... Police officers you know, went you know, alone. I think she said... Much too many years of you controlling her. I think she can do whatever she wants. She's a smart, perceptive young lady, I assume. She's 19! She's yeah, 19! I... Eh. 19 There's a knock upon the door. Knock, knock, knock. knock. knock, knock. Oh, I'm she... oh. uh, two lobsters for a... Lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's our house specialty here at the Waldorf. The lobsterf. So we have two lobsterfs for Mrs. Prudence Claythorne. Oh, yes. lobster. Oh, well, yes. this is a lobsterf, my fine officer. Ah, touche. Thank you for serving and protecting. Here you go. <laughs> and they set it down. They have the silver platter. And there is there's a nice, finely simmered in butter lobsterf underneath. <laughs> well, Prudence stiffs a napkin in her shirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm also going to sit down. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be some slobs. She does that, and, like, she... <laughs> she doesn't even wait for that guy to leave. She starts <laughs> pounding that lobster like an animal. Now like, that they're like, eating lunch... <laughs> <laughs> Cutting back to Rocky across town. Um, Rocky, so he stayed out at the library, you know, investigating shit. Um, oh, goodness. So here's what... Uh, the other half of what you find out. <clears throat> So, connected to a cult, like you find. Middle East, Africa, something like that. So, what you find out, Rocky, it is connected to um, a cult that was driven out of Egypt. Um, or maybe not Egypt specifically, but that area, that part of the Middle East. At some point, this cult was driven out 
and it is thought to have ended up at some point a long time ago in Kenya, and you come across a name. The name you come across that you link to this symbol is the Cult of the Bloody Tongue. Bloody Tongue? The Cult of the Bloody Tongue. Ah! But other than that, there's not anything more else. Wow. There's nothing else more that you can find out about it. So it seems pretty obscure. Um, there's not a lot written about it. Kind of seems like nothing big enough to make the history books or that enough people, you know, were left to write about has ever come up. Um, so that's all you're able to turn up. Uh, and there will be a slight time skip by the time you leave and what you out. <laughs> so after coming across that information, after that kind of striking a dry spot, it seems like, what is your next plan? Um, I'll, I'll reconvene at the Waldorf okay. and just, like, uh, share my notes. That... All right. <clears throat> so we'll say that by the time he is arriving at the Waldorf, you guys have eaten lunch, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say that it's now about, um, it's about 1.30 on the afternoon of January 16th. <laughs> and where, where are you guys up in the hotel room headed? Um, Unless you want to stick around longer. <laughs> um, I think down the hall we're going to catch a cab to take us to Columbia. You're going to catch a cab down the hall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, wait, they had those in the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> they had, like, we're just in, in the hallways of hotels. Like, no. My oh my god. I mean, going down the front oh, door no, and getting out of the front door and catching a cab. Um, <laughs> where are you and, headed, though? Uh, to Columbia University. Columbia? Where I assume Thelma's joining me unless she wants to continue. I'm so happy that when I asked you guys what you planned on doing this week, nobody told me Columbia University. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so what just... happens to the museum? Well, I, that's, that's, that's the museum. I want to go to the museum. No, it's totally... I'm I want to go to the museum. museum. Okay, so... Um, what's going to happen is you guys come downstairs getting ready to get a cab. Rocky, you arrive in the lobby and you see them exit the elevator. So you guys are now all in the lobby of the wall together. It is about 1.30, 1.45, and the day is yours. Ah, oh, yes, the American! Hello! <clears throat> Rocky, have you tried the lobster here? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta have some. Is you gotta good? have some. Honestly, Later. I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did. You're just in time. Did you say anything, Rocky? Yeah, and I, I take out my notebook and I spend like a good two minutes flipping through it to find the place <coughs> where I wrote, wrote it down. But I, I show you like all the information that the cult, the bloody tongue is in Kenya. Like, this is all I could turn up. Cult oh, of the bloody <laughs> tongue. Dreadful. Cult of the Bloody Tongue. How do you think that originated? Oh no, they probably bit it. It hurt. <laughs> yeah, I guess it Don't was make hurt. jokes at a time like this. Jackson Elias is dead. Yeah, you keep reminding us. We all know. Is no one else upset? Is no one else upset about a man who died yesterday? I'm upset. It was yesterday. Yes! Very. You, don't, you don't seem upset. You don't seem upset at all. I am very upset. I just have much more important things going on. Fine. Fine. Rocky walks up. Since I'm the only one who truly cares. To... <laughs> <laughs> so wait, uh, sorry, so Rocky, Rocky's hugging Thelma awkwardly? <laughs> yeah, it's a very stiff <clears throat> hug, but still. <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. Who cares? Francis and I can go to the uh, Columbia University in Thelma. You can just go without your allowance. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, I want the allowance. Like, <laughs> I want that. Oh, so. but uh, you, it looks like, oh, you see this yarn? I hold the purse strings. So, uh... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
state that Fine. this. Fine. You know what? <laughs> no, she. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, are you really going for it? Uh, are you trying to snatch it? <laughs> try to, yeah, I'm gonna try to snatch it. <laughs> Opposing sleight of hand. <laughs> Tell me your level of success. Okay. That's the first level. Well, it's not a success. Donnie snatches Prudence's purse, the purse of an old woman, out of her. What? <laughs> what's in the purse? I'm yeah, gonna open it up. <laughs> oh my god, some like Metamucil, um, Geritol, X. That wasn't around. <laughs> X There's some NyQuil PM. <laughs> um, what's it? Uh, polydent or whatever the equivalent of polydent would be at the time. Ew. So all this stuff, I'm just taking it out and kind of just like, tossing it away, just, just like oh, looking God. for money. <laughs> nah. People walking by are starting to look at you, throwing all the shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at those people and point at my badge. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> is there any money in this purse? No, that's in my money purse. Ah, uh, your money purse. Uh, yeah, what, what's that look like? Yeah, no, this wow. is my uh, most purpose purse. <laughs> you got your money purse on you? Uh, I'm not telling you where my money purse is. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Well, we got the Metamucil. Wait, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Out of character, where is your money purse? <laughs> I have to know. <laughs> is it is it completely obscured or is it any part of it visible? No, it's literally like one of those coin kind of purses, yeah. Oh, yeah. but and like there's like dollar bills wrapped up inside. Okay, it. it's just in it's, it. okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> yeah. No, you just have my most purpose purse. Uh, all right, well, it's for most purposes. I'm sorry I took this from you. Here you go. I'm gonna give her the empty purse back. Thank you! And then Prudence, like, picks up all of her thing. Her crack is, like, showing. <coughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> well, moving right along. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna divide this up. So, crack is back. So Prudence and Thelma, are you going to Columbia University? I guess I'll go to Columbia University. Okay. It's Ooh, cool. so important. So Prue and Thelma are going to Columbia University. The rest of you, what's the plan? The Guggenheim. The Guggenheim? Uh, yeah, I'm going to the Guggenheim. Yeah. yeah. The Guggenheim. Off to the Guggenheim. Okay. The Guggenheim. The Guggenheim. <laughs> oh, you're about to go to the Guggenheim. There better be a fight. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm going to the museum. <sighs> Fine, Thelma and I will have a wonderful day. Come on, Thelma. Let me okay. teach you about dresses without straps. Okay, so you guys all walk out. <laughs> Not... <laughs> um, you guys all walk out. You go your separate ways. Um, so I'm going to say this group, the three of you going to the Guggenheim, as you are walking across town to get there, and you would know this, of course, as the Guggenheim Metropolitan Museum, um, you pass a, a young... In 1939. F buddy? Really? Damn it! Don't be in for me! Okay, so I'm it's sorry, I was thinking of the first museum. <laughs> so it's not the Guggenheim. It's not the Guggenheim. Oh. It is just going to be New York Grand Metropolitan. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Moving on! So, um, so you guys are going that way. You passed a young lad who is standing atop a few milk crates because he's pretty small. He looks to be probably about six or seven years old. He's got a little suit jacket on. He's got a little uh, small press cap on. And he's going, Extra, extra, read all about it. Author brutally murdered at the hotel. Hey, give me one of those. <laughs> That'll be a nickel, mister. That'll be a nickel to anybody not wearing a... You're a dirty rotten gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to snap. You're stealing newspaper from a six year old. Oh my god! Sleight of hand! Uh, that's a pass. First Fuck level. you! <laughs> Fuck you, Donnie! Yeah, you literally steal, you steal a newspaper from a six year old street urchin selling newspapers so that he can buy a crust of bread at the end of the day. Congratulations. You know, oh. you know, one get one day you're gonna learn to respect law enforcement. The kid just oh, looks at you and he goes He just he just looks at you and he's just like oh. Oh. I'm I've already he starts stacking up his milk crates. 
I'm already turned away from it. No, 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 Especially oh, like okay. cross oh. cross Discord calls. Gotcha. Um, Damn, Thelma, so Thelma, Thelma I got you saying no, no, no. Wait, what are what are you doing, Thelma? Is Thelma there? Am I not there? Oh fuck! You're I not thought there. we were yeah, all you're walking there. Up. Well, never mind. You're stealing from a child. Congratulations. Um, okay, <laughs> so Donnie. I don't see it. You tossed him a nickel. Oh, so he looks at you and he's like, "Gee, thanks, lady." <laughs> <laughs> um, he does still walk away though to get away from Donnie. <laughs> Um, You're so. a very bad cop. <laughs> oh, that's what they all say. I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, because of course I had to miss one of them. This one I don't have to. Oh, yeah, dude, it's just not programmed to a key. Um, you can read that. I'm gonna throw it up on screen. Man, I am a nest today. Uh, this is a lot of reading. Boom. Yep, there's gonna be more on Frank's, just like some of the others, but I we'll ain't never read it. one of these. There's also you're gonna notice there's a marked out. Uh, so read that as mm. well as I can. You're not going to be able to. <laughs> I did a great job reproducing some words that were used back then. Um, this particular one, we are not going to use. So, mm, all right. Yeah. Good call. Just getting that out okay. of the way. Uh, author brutally <clears throat> murdered by killers. Uh, body found in Hotel Chelsea. Wait a second. You, you don't think. Fuck. <laughs> it is. Author Jackson Elias. <laughs> was found murdered in his fourth floor room at the Hotel Chelsea, where the killers are reported to have used long knives to butcher their victim. Lieutenant <coughs> Martin Poole, ah, that son of a bitch, Pool of the murder squad, stated that he is exploring possible connections between this murder and similar slayings in Harlem last year. The good friends of Jackson Elias, that's us, are in mourning at the news. Mr. Elias had some fame as a writer, Specializing in popular, well-researched books about strange and violent cults worldwide. A subject in which he was an acknowledged expert. His first book, published in 1910, was Skulls Along the River, exposing headhunter cults in the, in the, in the, in the, um, amazing, in the amazing Basin. His <laughs> best known work was Sons of Death, 1918, <laughs> for which he infiltrated a group of modern-day thugs in India. He had no living relatives and maintained no permanent address. Although he was an experienced world traveler, he often visited New York. Yeah, he did. Where the offices of his publisher, Prospera House, are located on Lexington Ave. He was known to favor the Hotel Chelsea while in the city. The murder of Elias bears similarities to a series of other killings committed in Harlem over the course of the last year or more. Local resident Hilton Adams, 29 of 118 West 137th Street, was convicted of one of the Harlem murders in October last and is believed by police to be guilty of others. He is awaiting execution in Sing Sing. Adams is a veteran of the war and served as a sergeant in the 369th uh, Infantry Regiment. Lieutenant Pohl, ah, oh, that son of a bitch, Pohl, offered no opinion whether this new murder indicates that Adams had accomplices or is innocent of the previous crimes. Identifies Chapman, and it, it cuts off there. Already real. Does anyone else want to go to Sing Sing? Oh, I want to. I want to go to Sing Sing. I want to look. I want to let them say you belong in here, Buster. Wow. Right now. Well, I thought maybe we could get some information, but we could do that too. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Information too. Of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, First. Information. <clears throat> Second off, I'm gonna look those sons of bitches in the eyes. But information for it. That's the important part. Mm-hmm. So you're now not going to Guggenheim, you're going to Sing Sing? Let's, let's go to the museum first. I mean, yeah, we're already right there. You still, still want to go to the Guggenheim? Well, yeah, you want... <laughs> oh, wait, not, well, not the Guggenheim. Not the Guggenheim. Metropolitan Museum. Cool. Look what um, you did, buddy. Look what you did, buddy. I know! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I thought I had my dates right. <laughs> so you guys continue going across town. Um, you eventually do make it to the New York Metropolitan Grand Museum. Um, <clears throat> now this one you find um, sort of between Manhattan and the Bronx. Um, all right, so you guys walk up. 
<clears throat> it doesn't look super huge. Um, the building looks a little bit on the broken down side, a little bit on the old side. It maybe hasn't seen a ton of business. Um, you also don't see a lot of people coming and going from it, but there's a couple. And there's just some concrete steps leading up to the front doors with a sign across them. All right. Uh, I guess I'll, we'll just walk up and cool. walk through the doors. <laughs> Why not? So you walk in, and the first thing you notice is that it is not loud in here, and it is not stuffy in here, because there are not very many people in here at all. Um, but you walk in, and uh, there is a, a small ticket counter um, that is just a little ways in, and there is an older, uh, an older woman sitting there. Um, she has sort of like gray... God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> she has like gray, bushy hair. Um, she is a little bit off the large side. She's a little rotund. Um, and she has kind of some half moon spectacles that she is looking down at something on the desk in front of her with. Uh, I'm going to walk past her. You can walk past her? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> oh my God. so you start walking that way. Uh, she looks up as you get close and she just says, uh, welcome to the museum. Uh, uh, buy a ticket. Uh, the buy a ticket? Uh, pri price of entry is 75 cents. Oh, okay, yeah. You guys pay your price of admission and meet me in there. <laughs> you guys are all just right here together. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a large uh, hall. Aren't you going to pay two? Um, oh, you have to pay two. Yeah, am I? Pointing to my badge. Uh, 75 cents. Is that badge worth 75 cents? It's worth a lot more than that, I'll tell you what. <laughs> She's still looking at you. <laughs> She's waiting for you to pay your... Can I help you? <laughs> she just blinks once. 75 cents for a ticket. 75? You, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna cost me 75 cents to go look at old stuff. Yes. <laughs> You know how much I can buy for 75 cents? You know how many, how many dinners I can eat? One ticket. <laughs> <laughs> this country's going down the tube. <laughs> 75 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have 75 cents? I assume. <laughs> you have your, your daily spending limit on your sheet. Oh. But I'm pretty sure that you can cover 75 cents. I say, well, <laughs> let me check. Um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, okay, ten dollars per $10. day is your spending level. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna intentionally give her seventy, and then and then walk away. <laughs> she counts the change and says, "Hey, uh, I pay. I pay. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm thanked. Thank you, sir. Enjoy the museum. Okay. Now that we're through that, uh, <laughs> so, so uh, you guys purchase your tickets to the museum. You walk in. Um, <clears throat> it does have two floors. Um, and in the center area here, there is an aeroplane that has got, uh, it's like suspended by cables in the middle there. It looks a little dusty, even from here. Um, and there are, some, uh, there are some spotlights on the ground that are shining up on it. One of the spotlights is actually out. Um, you would assume the bulb is broken or missing. Um, and then around, there are some corridors leading to other exhibits. Um, if you'd like a description of any of those, just let me know. If you're just kind of walking in a random direction, that's cool, too. And there are some, uh, looks like spiral stairs off to your right that would go up to the second floor. Are there any types of African exhibits? African exhibits, okay. So you take a look around the room. Um, you're seeing some things such as, like, um, there's an automotive section, there is a history of mining section, there's a natural history section. What you do see, though, is that there is a paper poster on one of the walls, and it's got an arrow pointing down one of the hallways, and it said, Treasures of Egypt. Brand new. This, uh, brand new this October. Well, we gotta go there, right? Egypt? Yes. Let's go. That was to it. Mm -hmm. That way. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys walk along that way. Um, it is, uh, now that you're kind of into the building a little bit, it is slightly stuffy in here. There's not a lot of 
it's not hot, and especially, well, I guess that's, that's not really true. It's fucking cold, because it's, I forgot how snowy it is outside. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's pretty cold. Uh, there's not a lot, a lot of heat in here, rather. Um, so, yeah, you're walking along, and you start to see as it opens up into another room. Um, it's not super well lit in here. Um, it's kind of dim lighting. But there are some exhibits with uh, glass on your side and things that you guys can look at. <clears throat> You're seeing such things as, like, uh, there are some pots. There are what look to be some ancient sort of, like, silverware. Um, there are even uh, some linens in glass cases, some textiles and things like that. Uh, that's kind of just what you see as you, uh, as you enter the room there. It looks like it, al it also goes on a little bit, so there may be more to see. Um, as you guys are looking at some of those, um, everybody roll a listen check who is at the, uh, the museum. I almost said the Guggenheim. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> a listen check. Uh, listen. A listen check. Yeah. Oh, are you Tim, kidding? Donnie? An eight, yeah. Uh, that's a fail. Fail? That's oh, a, that's a fail. second fail. level. Okay, so hard success for Donnie. <clears throat> so you guys are looking at some of the pottery and some of the linens behind the glass cases. Um, Donnie, you hear from somewhere behind you in the room a soft set of footfalls and a kind of quiet... There's a fucking cat in here. <laughs> I'm going to look toward it. <laughs> <laughs> so you turn around... <clears throat> You don't see anything right away, um, but from around a corner, down the hallway a little bit, yes, a small animal-sized shape steps into view around the corner, and as it walks a little bit into the dim light, you see that this appears to be a large, bat-eared, hairless cat. Uh, that's unusual. Uh, I, I, you guys see this? You see this shit? Do I see it? Yeah, when you guys turn around, you can see that there is indeed a hairless cat that is okay. slowly walking towards you guys. This looked like any cat you ever um, saw? As you all turn around and look at it, though, it stops in its tracks, and it just sort of, like, slightly head tilts and just looks at you guys. What? I <laughs> kneel down and I say, here, kitty, kitty, here, kitty. <laughs> it just studies you as you do. Um, be careful, it could be rabid. It's got, uh, it's I got, got my piece on me. <laughs> big green eyes that it is looking at you with. Uh, I move toward it. Okay. So you move toward the cat, and it's still just sort of patiently studying you. And around that time, another figure steps out from behind the corner of uh, the hallway. This one is human-sized. Um, and you just hear... <laughs> you just hear, Eh, come back here, so he always wanders away from me. Oh! Hello! And an old man steps into the light. He is a little bent. He is a little crotchety looking. Um, the best way I can describe him is he sort of looks like what you would imagine the owner of a funeral home to look like. So he is on, <laughs> he's on the bent over, so he is a little bit shorter maybe than he would be <laughs> when he was younger. Yeah. Um, he is bald with liver spots and a few tufts of white hair sticking out here and there. Um, he is wearing an old-looking three-piece suit, and he has a cane that he's walking with. Um, and he just says, Hello. Oh, we, we have some guests, Asoti. Look. Uh, hey, how you doing? I am very well, sir. And how are you doing, my fine officer? Oh, just fine, just fine. Except my friend just died last night. He got murdered, stabbed many times. <laughs> I, am, I am very sorry to hear that. Yeah, I how am too. We all are. My, my. Are you all friends? Uh, we're it's traveling somewhere. together. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> ah, yeah. anything goes these days. <laughs> <laughs> so what's with this fucking cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Such language. Well, this is a soti. He is what you would call a sphinx or a hairless cat. Come, a soti. Uh, what, what is he, from Staten Island? Why does he look like that? <laughs> <laughs> the cat starts to pad back to him and just goes, Meow. ever so softly. Um, no, no, not from Staten Island. No, I acquired a Soti quite a while back. He's been my boon companion for some years. 
<laughs> come here, come here. And uh, the cat walks to his leg, and he scoops him up and puts him in his arm. Um, he puts his elbow on his cane and just starts stroking the hairless cat. Are you enjoying the exhibit? Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. So rude of me. I should have introduced myself. My name is Alistair P. Whipple. But you may call me Mr. Whipple. <laughs> I'm a curator <laughs> of the Metropolitan Grand Museum. Oh, you're, you're the curator. Uh, yes. well, well, actually, we're, we're looking for some information, Mr. Whipple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is Whipple. Whipple, thank you. Uh, what sort of information are you looking for, officer? Uh, we, we, you got a photograph of that, uh, symbol that we saw, Rocky? Yeah, I'll take my, my photograph. Oh. My, my. Ooh. Quite disturbing. I, is that blood? Yeah, a lot of it. My goodness. Goodness me. That was the guy he mentioned that died last night. Oh, I see. And he looks at it for an uncomfortable length of time. Lots of blood. Well, I don't know anything about this symbol. Um, I wish I could be of more assistance to you, but I do hope you're enjoying the museum. Perhaps uh, you may peruse some of the other exhibits we have here. Or... Can I use perception or something or to see if he's lying? Psychology? Yeah, psychology. You sure can. <clears throat> um, and I'll just roll as well. well. Well, how was? Uh, uh, <laughs> what'd you get? That was a third level. Holy oh, shit! So, so a critical success. Yeah. Jesus, God. you rolled a two on the dice. Oh, my ears ringing from Buddy. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh. No. Um, okay. So you sense motive. Okay. From what you can tell, he is pretty creepy. But he doesn't appear to be lying about not knowing what the symbol is. It, it does appear that he was very interested in what he was looking at, but you didn't catch any whiff of him being dishonest with you. Okay. Kind of seems just like a creepy old man. Uh, you ever heard the name the Phaja Naja? Phaja Naja. <laughs> no, I don't suppose I have. <laughs> I think it was Faraj. Faraz Najar. No. No, I've not heard it before, but it sounds... It sounds like it could be an Egyptian name. And he just looks around in the Egypt exhibit. <laughs> we got that. Uh, show, show him the business card. Uh, you, you, uh, you know this oh, guy? No soliciting, please. Oh, no, it's not mine. Ah, yes. Whoops. And, um, <laughs> does, he, does Daddy actually do that? Yeah, he, he, he actually. <laughs> the pin, pin hue. The pin, as in, um, oh, what is his name? What is it? Aubrey pin hue. The renowned Egyptologist. Yeah, yes, yes, say. I've heard of them. Verily. Really? Any, yes. Any well, he's, in, I, he, I dare say he's among the world's most famous Egyptologists. <laughs> Anybody in the museum business should have heard of him. Certainly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anything you can, anything you can tell us about this uh, Aubrey Pinhu and uh, her relation to maybe some some kind of Egyptian oh, cult. Yes, so oh, sorry, uh, a cult, an Egyptian cult, an Egyptian cult from Egypt. Ah, oh, very interesting. Oh, hmm. a historian, are we? Uh, sure. Excellent. Well, I. See. I suppose over the years, yes, I've heard of cults from Egypt. I mean, it's not unheard of. Um, are you talking about, like, one now? Or? Uh, potentially. Potentially. No, no, I don't know of any modern. My, my expertise lies in antiquity. Antiquity. Oh, antiquity. yeah, antiquity. Things long uh, past. Think, yeah, yeah, of course, antiquity. Yeah, yes. things long past. You want to take this one, Rocky? Yeah, antiquity means old stuff. Oh, yeah, old stuff. <laughs> oh, like, like you would be antiquitous. <laughs> yes, I suppose I am getting up years. Old uh, Sodi here is 13, actually. <laughs> Aren't you a Sodi? Yes. 
How long do cats live? He must be uh, knocking on Satan's door, huh? <laughs> well, I suppose sooner or later we all must pass on. Well, that's one philosophy. Um, I'm not afraid of death. But anyway, I do hope that you are enjoying the museum. Here, um, you've not yet seen the um, you've not yet seen the sarcophagus, have you? Sarcophagus. I don't know why you linger in the centerpiece of our newest exhibit here. Ah, oh, really? Well, it is a big one. Yes. <laughs> yes, it means coffin. Very old coffin. Very old coffin. Often containing... A vampire. Mummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> yes, I yes. A question out, out of game. Yes. What's the difference between psychology and psychoanalysis again? That is a good question. Do you have both? Yes. Oh, yeah. psychology. Psychoanalysis specifically is going to be like, I'm going to try to diagnose your mental disorder. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So psychoanalysis, that's going to be like an study. Got it. Uh, so I uh, Rocky, Rocky, you, you got any more questions for this guy? No, I want to see the sarcophagus. Yes. I guess we can of go course. see the sarcophagus. <laughs> well, I shall escort you there myself. Come, come right this way. And he leads you guys back down that very dimly lit hallway that he came around. How fast does he walk? He's pretty slow. He's an old man, and he's now caning his way. Cat. Yeah, so I'm, I'm having to slow myself down. So every yeah. once in a while, I'll just be like... <sighs> <laughs> I know, it is quite a lot. <laughs> and the cat kind of just like runs up his arm and is now perched atop his shoulder. And it just turns around and looks at you. Big green eyes. Yeah, how you doing? Unblinking. Yeah, you got, uh, got a set of eyes on you, don't you? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Well, this is Donnie Dickett. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting across town. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting across town to Prudence and Thelma. So, you guys would know that there are two campuses of Columbia University here in New York City. Um, there is Washington Square, and there's one other one, if you'll pardon me. It's oh, a yeah. notebook. <laughs> nice is it Jefferson's Triangle? <laughs> no, it's Shut right across. Up. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. You oh, take yeah. your geometry and you go. Oh, <laughs> you take your geometry and go. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my house. Oh, I think I was going to write on the wrong page. You oh, didn't Jesus. have Columbia prepared? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, I found it. Uh, Washington Square, which is in Manhattan. University Heights, which is in the Bronx. So there's two locations you guys could do. Which one is closer to where we are? Uh, Manhattan. You are in Manhattan currently. Oh, yeah. We are in Manhattan. <clears throat> yeah. Which one's in Manhattan? Washington Square. Oh, I believe we should go to Washington Square. Yeah, that's where I thought we were going. Why would we go all the way to the Bronx? I was just reinforcing the point! Okay. Right. So, you guys go along to uh, the Washington Square campus of Columbia University. Um, tell me again why you guys are going here. Um, I'm going to try to talk to either the geography and or archaeology department. Oh, yes. Yeah, you wanted a, you wanted a geographer. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I still want to talk to an archaeologist. <laughs> so, um, so you show up there. There are a few buildings. Um, there's also a central building that looks to be sort of the administration office. Mm. Oh, let's go in there. This says admin. All right, let's go. Does Prue know any admin? Mm, oh, at Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would know someone at Columbia. No, any admin. Men that work in the advertising industry? Oh, God <laughs> damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you guys head into the... <laughs> um, you get up to the desk, and um, there, is, uh, there is a woman that has... Um, she's got a, a bonnet on. She's got some neat glasses. Um, and she's just like, Oh, welcome. Welcome to Columbia. Um... What can I do for you? Are you, uh, would you like to enroll, young lady? And she looks at you, Thelma. 
They don't even talk about watching yeah. it. I mean, I wasn't thinking about enrolling. Actually, we came here because we're looking for um, an archaeologist and or a geographer. geographer. Yes. You're looking for an archaeologist and a, and, and, and a geographer. Um, well, uh, usually those kinds of meetings are restricted to um, either students or if you know one of them. It's not exactly a, a walk-in sort of situation. <laughs> what does the name <laughs> of oh, Jackson ring a bell? Oh, yes, yes. We heard of his passing in the papers this morning. Very sad, very sad. Mm-hmm. I loved his books. Oh, he happens to be a very close personal friend of me. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, dear me. Oh, I've been so beaten up about it ever since it happened. You're a fucking sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sociopath. <laughs> so beaten up. I was even there when it happened. God rest his soul. Because we've established that you're a sociopath, uh, <laughs> you are going to have to roll. Persuasion. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No. Yes, no. No. Okay. What'd you roll though? It might matter. Seventy nine. Yeah. Okay. Um. So she's just like, as you're laying it on really thick, just like your makeup. Uh, <laughs> she's just like, close friend. You said. All right. Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh. We don't usually do. Exactly. Exactly. No, exactly what I thought, too. She's always doing this. When I was just talking to her earlier, I was like, I actually, like, felt emotion about losing him. Like, we all knew him, and I actually felt emotion about it. And she's like, she's just sitting there eating her lobster in the hotel room, like, oh, yes, very sad, very sad. And then she comes in here because now she wants information. She's like, oh, oh, no, uh, uh, so sad. This is what I live with every day. This is what I have to deal with every day. And I'm tired of it because unlike her, I actually did love him. I wanted to marry him. We were going to get married. And look. <laughs> what? Now he's gone. What? Okay, Samantha, roll persuade. <laughs> what if she did? Oh, now that definitely is excess. Whoa. Let me see. Oh, man. Persuade. Okay, yeah, that's a third. Are you serious? Oh, what did oh, you it's roll? A 15. Yeah. I, I rolled a 15. What is your persuade? My persuade is 85. Jesus wow. Christ! Oh, okay, that was awesome. Way to go. Um, so the lady's just like, oh, you poor dear. Wait right here. And she goes back in her little office area. Um, a few moments later, she comes out and she hands you, Thelma, a memo pad. Um, it is the name of a professor at the university who I... Definitely have thought of a name for. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. This person's name is Bruce Spring. No, not Springsteen. Uh, <laughs> Bruce Markey. Bruce Markey. <laughs> Professor Bruce Markey. Mm-hmm. Bruce Markey. <laughs> Um, sort of looking at you and then looking back at Thelma. Um, sweetie, uh, yes. Dr. Markey, he is a professor of archaeology here at the university, and, and he has studied, uh, geography as well. Um, I'll just, um, I'll just let him know that you're coming by and, uh, call it a personal favor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Yeah. You're welcome, my young dear. Oh, thank you. Woo-hoo! Come here, Thelma. Hmm. When, See, she no, said young, you she... when she said young, she very obviously didn't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this work of art. Obviously I'm young. Um, I, I must tell you as well, um, when you do meet with him, um, 
I did only tell him that that it would be you. It'd just be a one on one sort Excuse of thing. Me. So. Excuse me. I hope me. that's all right, my that young miss. <laughs> Where's your manager? That is perfectly all right. Um, I'm sorry, but she might want to wait in the lobby. If you need any help getting rid of her, um, um, she's easily attracted by shiny objects. Yes, but it's 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 such a it's such a nice day. Maybe she could wait outside and get some some fresh air. There is snow. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh my. Um, well. Alright, we do have a waiting area over there. There's some magazines. Take a seat, ma'am. Woo! Thank you! Yes, 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 yes. And a good day to you, dearie. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna go up to Bruce Markey's office. Okay. So, you make your way through the, uh, the frigid January air. Um, and you approach the history building, and yeah, following the directions that she gave you on this memo pad, you arrive at the office of one Professor Bruce Markey. Okay, sweet. And before we go any further, real quick, chat, is my yeah. audio good? Is it matching up? It's, uh, it's back to the thing from before, but what are you going to do? We're live. Okay. We'll try okay. to work it out. I was point. messing... Okay, because I was, I was all pixelated for a second there. Right? Oh, okay. Are you guys seeing I, that? Uh, I, I'm looking at it throughout the entire stream because I'm looking at the full stream to talk to you because um, I'm on one screen mm -hmm. right now. So I'll let you know if, if we have an actual uh, like stop-worthy issue. Um, it okay. is about halftime, though. So we're going to go to break right fast, chat. I am going to have one cam on, so don't you go no. We'll catch up on chat a little bit. Um, and by the way, thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. Uh, yeah, stick around. We will be back with the regular show in a few minutes. But until then, we will chat with you guys. Um, and also, Samantha, if you want to try to fix your cam while we're doing this, you can. Okay, bye bye bye. Yeah. Well, not really bye. bye. Because, oh, shit, I did the fucking thing again. Oh. Do it. Okay. Hopefully that will stay fixed, but we'll see. And she is still crunching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, my crunches so, are in sync. There you go. Hey, we love a good crunch and sync. <laughs> <laughs> crunch and sync is what they... Never mind. Um, <laughs> did you want another drink, by the way? Sure, I'll take another drink. Go get yourself one, because <laughs> we already started. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. And you're not in this scene anyway. So, <clears throat> uh, Thelma, you have mm -hmm. arrived at the door of one Professor Bruce Markey. That wasn't me looking at my notes. As I said, I already prepared Professor Bruce Markey ahead of time. <clears throat> and uh, what would you like to do? Well, I'm at his office, right? Yep. So I'm going to knock on the door. All right. So you knock on the door, and uh, just a few seconds later, it opens up. Now what you're seeing is um, he looks to be about mid to late 30s. Um, <clears throat> he has uh, kind of like... Yeah, go ahead, Frank. He has, like, rugged but not rough features. Um, he has some lightly tousled brown hair. Just enough stubble to love. Um, and he, he looks at you and he says, Are you Thelma? Yeah. Hi. Are you, uh, Bruce Markey? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bruce Markey. Uh, come take a seat. Let's, uh, let's chat. Or do you want yeah. to, um... Ask me some questions, or... Yeah, um... I, uh... I had a close, um... Well, someone very close to me was recently murdered, and, um... Mm. I believe there's a cult <clears throat> connection. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's take a seat and talk this over. Okay. Uh, coffee? Yeah. Cream? Sugar? Black. All right. And there's a little twinkle in his eye when you say that. He looks a little bit, a little bit impressed, and he's just like, "All right, two black coffees." I knew he would be. <laughs> Out of character, it sounds like. So you keep walking across. <laughs> you sit down across from him at his desk, <laughs> and his nameplate very clearly says Professor Bruce Markey. <clears throat> 
there are some papers scattered around the desk. It's not what you'd call messy, but it's not what you'd call clean either. Looks like he has been working in here. Um, so he sits down, puts his feet up on the desk at the corner, and he's just like, so, uh, and there's, by the way, there's a brown fedora hanging on the wall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, fire away. Well, um, did you know Jackson Elias? Well, I, uh, yeah. We weren't friends or anything, but, uh, I did know him. We, uh, we corresponded every now and then. Well, he was <coughs> very special to me. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, um... We found him with this symbol carved into his forehead um, that we believe was done by a cult. And I think they're, they were, I believe they're based in Cairo. Um, something about uh, where the jackals walk in Cairo. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> I believe that uh, Elias had a um, connection with Roger Carlyle and what he was doing with um, Sir Arbor- uh, <clears throat> Aubrey. Aubrey Pinhew? Yes. Yes. So hang on, and... hang on. Let me just let me just get this straight. So mm-hmm. you think that you think that Mr. Elias was murdered by a cult? Yes. And that this is somehow connected to Roger Carlyle. Like Roger Carlyle from from New York. We found a letter addressed to Carlyle in his pocket when well, the last time we saw him. Interesting. And so um, we're assuming there's a connection, yeah. Was this letter from Mr. Elias? Yeah, I believe so. Interesting. What did it say? Um, wow. Uh, can I roll, like, a memory? (laughs) (laughs) Um, yes. I will permit that. And you're not in possession of the letter, or I would just send it to you. Um, roll a... uh, Roll an intelligence check. Okay, you better work. You better work. So that is gonna oof so close. It's a it's a second level success. Oh shit! Really? A hard success. Uh, alm- okay. Almost third level. So okay, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a few things. So you still don't have it. Um, you will see though that this letter was neither from nor to Jackson Elias. Um, it was. Seems like in his possession. You found it not in his pocket, but in the apartment where he was killed. Right. Um, it is... Um, do you have that on hand? I do. Let's make sure I don't give you any bad info. Mm-hmm. So, it was addressed to a Mr. Roger Carlyle from an M. Warren Bessart. Oh. B-E-S-A-R-T. M. Warren Bessart. M could be Mr. M could be his first name. Don't know. Okay. And it's from Cairo. So a, a Warren Bessart sent that to him from Cairo. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, and he's a direct man. Sorry, I am... Um... I was just so flustered that uh, my memory's a little well, uh, off. Uh, after what you've been through, kid, I, I understand. Yeah, I've uh, blocked a little bit out. But uh, actually, the letter was from Cairo mm-hmm. to Mr. Carlisle, and it was written by a person named M. Warren Bessart. Does that okay. name ring a bell? Doesn't ring any bells, no. No. I think I know uh, anybody from no. Cairo. Shame. Well, I guess, uh... I will tell you this. Um, You made me think of something, because when you said Mm -hmm. uh, The Jackal's Walk, it sounded like another one of his books. sounded like a Uh, title. 
um, it kind of made me think, I don't know if this will be any help, but he had a publisher uh, right here in New York City. Oh. Prospero House. So, I don't know. If you're, if you're trying to get a little bit more information about this, uh, if you'd like to dig up a little bit more about Elias, maybe check out his publisher. I don't know. Could turn something up. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. And, no uh, um, let's see. So hard to remember if there's anything else I uh, wanted to ask you. Uh, I have to admit, you're <laughs> a little more handsome than... <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> he just he just chuckles at that. <laughs> well, you flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Flirt with your stepdad, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do. Okay. Well, listen, uh, I don't know if this is too forward but uh maybe uh maybe coffee sometime that would be great and uh maybe uh if i have any more questions i can give you a call yeah yeah i suppose you could That'd be all fun. right sounds good <laughs> well thank you yeah anytime open door i uh teach a few classes but uh you know anytime i'm not instructing just uh stop by all right. Sounds good. All right. See well, ya. See you later, kid. <laughs> and then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may now thank me for giving you Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yes, Thelma's the bard. You're right. Or Han cool. Solo. <laughs> So, I was expecting short round to make its way somewhere in there. <laughs> You're the short round of the group. <laughs> Dr. Jones! <laughs> um, okay, so cutting back to uh, not the Guggenheim, the New York Grand Metropolitan Museum. So you, you guys turn that shadowy corner. <clears throat> you find yourself in another room. Um, there is only one thing in this room, although there are, there are some plaques on the walls that have writing. One piece in this room. It's in the middle. It is enclosed in a thick glass case with a large lock on it. And as uh, Mr. Whipple leads you over, he says, yes, yes, take a look. Take a gander. This is, um, personally, my favorite piece in the museum. This is not only an authentic sarcophagus from ancient Egypt, but the real treasure lies inside. For we have, right here in New York City, the preserved remains of King Ramses II. Wonderful, isn't it, Sodi? Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to walk up and look at the sarcophagus. It certainly looks like a sarcophagus. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean you know what it looks like, right? Uh... <laughs> So it's uh, carved out. It's got like the whole pharaoh visage going. It's got the chin thing with the stripes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it basically looks like what you'd see in a movie. Um, so it looks like uh, Danny Carvey from The Master. It looks like Danny Carvey in The Master. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Yep. Um, I'm gonna uh, try to open it. <laughs> how? <laughs> and are you sure? <laughs> how are you gonna try to open it? Uh, well, I assume there's like a top piece and a bottom piece, right? Yes. Um, so I'm going to try to take off the top piece. Okay, yeah, so you go to lift it, and, uh, I mean, you can't, so it's like just like a clink, and the huge lock that I mentioned keeps it shut. <laughs> um, and then he looks over and he's just like, what, uh, officer, you can't, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, because of the lock. Yeah, you, which... was... Yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> Were this to be exposed to the outside elements, it might degrade the sarcophagus and, and oh. the mummy inside. Oh, so we Have so you ever been to a museum inside. before? Uh, well, I, I guess we can make do. Yes, I suppose you can. You can leave this, Asoti. <laughs> Is there anything of note? 
do I possibly see? I'm not. I'm not talking character. <laughs> okay, I'm still uh, heading no. so on the sarcophagus. Oh, so you're looking for the symbol of the bloody tongue? Um, yeah. Roll spot hidden. <clears throat> and Rocky and Francis, what are you two doing? Um, can I make like a history check to see if I know if King Ramses II had any significance? Yes, you can. To any of like the the things that we've come across Definitely. before. What about you, Francis? Yeah. Um, Ooh. I'm walking. I want to walk around them. Okay. That's so a hard success. For nice. History. There are some plaques on the walls. Um, if you choose to read any of those, you're basically going to get the same information that that Caden's just going to know from memory, or that Rocky's going to know. From memory. Okay. Um, actually, I'll give you one additional thing, Rocky. Um, okay. So first of all, Donnie, remind me what you were doing. I'm sorry. I was looking for the symbol, but I failed. You were looking for, okay, but you failed. Okay. Yeah, so wait, what did you roll? Like a 72. Oh, okay. I saw two and I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> no. Um yeah, so you look around, you don't spot that symbol anywhere in the room or on the sarcophagus or anything. Um I'm gonna give this to you guys together and then I'll give you one last piece of information. Um so just reading some of the plaques, there are some stuff about ancient Egypt. Um, and there is some stuff specifically about King Ramses II. And here is what you can pull. So, Ramses II uh, reigned from, or sorry, lived from 79 to 1213 BC. Um, basically, it was a long time ago. A lot of the specific edicts and decrees and stuff that he did is not super well known, other than. Under him, they built a shit ton of infrastructure and great architecture in Egypt. So he, um, at, at the head of things, was responsible for a lot of structures and pyramids and uh, all kinds of infrastructure that got built around the kingdom. Um, he also lived in just just utmost luxury, um, just complete decadence, um, even to the point of being hedonistic. Um, the one thing that you will pull that you have read somewhere, picked up along the way, is it is it is thought um, based on sources that may or may not be viable and may or may not still exist that King Ramses II declared himself a god. Yeah, so I say, yeah, yeah. Rumor, rumor has it that this guy declared himself a god. Whipple looks over and he's just like, why, yes. Usually I get to tell that part. <laughs> he did. Ramses II, you know, he lived in such luxury, nearly bankrupted his own kingdom by the end of his run, considered himself pretty high and mighty, above all the rest. That's the wife. And certainly thought that he was a god. Oh, to walk in those days, those ancient structures paddle along the Nile. Can you imagine? Uh, you got a full on boat. Just... <laughs> <laughs> roll it. Roll it. Yeah, roll it. Okay, roll it. Uh, that's a success. Here's a semi. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> his age. He's also bent over, so it's kind of hard to see, but... Oh, that's why he's bent over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so uh, any, any of that stand out to you, Rocky? Francis? I just said... Didn't I? Uh, well, I don't remember. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> well, there's um, plenty more to see at the museum. I understand if you'd like to gaze upon this treasure of the ancient world a little bit longer, I certainly do. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we'll take a look. You can, you can go, go give us some fancy feast or something. Yes, Asoti will have a fancy feast tonight, won't you, Asoti? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. The cat has a boner, too. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> Roll fight it. No. <laughs> okay. yeah. um, the cat just sort of looks at you again, and you could swear it's almost smirking. Don't you look at me like that. You're going to give me the respect I deserve. Voices. Inside voices, please. Sorry, sorry. Just that well, I will, my head. I will leave you all to it. Don't touch the exhibit again, please. Oh, of course not. If you need anything, just let me know. Come, Asoti. <laughs> and he starts to cane away. <laughs> all right, so uh, now that he's gone, uh, how do we get in this sarcophagus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you can just look at it from the outside. I don't think they want you inside. I think there's a lot more inside. Fine. <laughs> well, there is, but you're not allowed. Well, I'm not allowed, but are you just gonna let the rules, the rules get in the way of uh, helping our friend Jackson Elias get justice? Huh? Well, the rules are there for a purpose. Uh, well, I lock? guess this is where we just... What kind what of lock? Uh, it is like a key uh, lock. Key yeah. lock? Yeah, so there's like, so there's a lock. Sorry, um, it's a padlock, but there's one hanging on it that has a keyhole. Okay. I could have been more descriptive with mm. that. Does it look you like can I try, can you shoot can it? Try picking it. I cannot answer that, <laughs> but if you'd like to try and shoot the lock off, you may certainly try. That, that please don't. Or well, you can well, try what, to pick it. Worst case scenario, I got my piece, I can just shoot the lock, okay? <laughs> but it looks like a key goes in this thing. We might be able to find the key somewhere. <clears throat> you think that old fart has one? Please don't try to steal from the old man. Well, you projected the mic a little bit more, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, Rocky, sometimes you gotta do that uh, don't follow the mold of what society tells you to do. Cop. <laughs> you are the mold. <laughs> Different. I don't know. <laughs> if people don't to... Listen, not all cops. <laughs> God damn it. Go on. I just said, please don't try to steal from him. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to steal from this guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you wanna help me? You can help me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you know somewhere else to get a key that fits this particular lock. <laughs> Either of you? Either you know a place? You got a lock guy? We you got a key guy? We, we, we don't have to get inside. Yeah. I can take pictures of it. I think we could find a lot inside the sarcophagus. Are you sure? Uh, I ain't sure of a lot, but <laughs> I am 100% certain of this. <laughs> Can I spot him to see if Donnie has a boner now? Yes. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me whether or not he does. What? Um. Okay. Oh, that's a failure anyway. You can't tell. Mm. <laughs> uh, what are you? What are you looking at? The eyes are kind of wandering, huh? Are you trying to fuck that mummy? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Donny Nicocelli gets a lot more. He, I don't need to fuck a mummy. You okay? trying to eat it? I, why would I eat it? it it's, it's old. We're gonna have to it's make some rotten. sanity rolls here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Cutting back to Lady Prudence. <laughs> so you are in the waiting area in the administration building. There are some magazines on the table, mm -hmm. and there is a plush, but not as comfy as you'd like it, chair that you are now sitting in. Oof! Boy. Is there, like, a cotillion weekly in front of me? I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, now that we're two hours into the stream, I don't know what the fuck a cotillion is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. How do you, it's high society parties where it's, like, manners are, like, very much, like... There's one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what a lovely article on why using the proper fork is necessary in today's culture. Uh. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, so she's gonna uh, go talk to the lady. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah. So you start walking over, and he's just like, <sighs> "Yes, yes, ma'am." Listen, hey, um, I believe we got off on the wrong foot over there. I say we did. I'll say so. I mean, you said some things. You said some things. No, all we, you. We we <laughs> can just move on now. So, thank you. I'm fine with that. Please move on. Oh, my. Well, in that case, uh, do you know, I must gather my niece. Where is she right now? It's literally been like six minutes. She went to see Professor Bruce Markey. (laughs) Bruce. A name I'm well familiar with. (laughs) Markey. Oh, I must collect her. Oh, yes. You know what? Yes. Yeah, it's about time. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Uh, <laughs> you, should, you should probably go do that. Oh, right, there we go. So she's going to walk. I, does she know where the room is? Uh, you do not have directions, okay. but you would assume it would be probably in the history building. Okay, so she goes to the front of the history building, okay. and she starts pounding on the door. <laughs> As you're pounding on it, the door slightly opens because it is, in fact, unlocked. <laughs> she, Hello? Is there a manager? Um, is there a manager in this history? Selma, of- right around the time that you're finishing up <laughs> with Professor Mackey, Marky, um, you mm-hmm. hear that from down the hall. Oh, good lord. Aunt Prudence, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? Who let you out? What <laughs> a story! I just uh, she shows her the magazine. Like, look, it's, uh, it talks about all about forks. Oh, oh, cool! Good thing we came here to get that information. That's so vital to what we're doing. So important. Did Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> on prudence <laughs> meanwhile um i got the contact information of a- the very handsome bruce markey um handsome. so yeah he was handsome um and so we can contact yes. him anytime uh also he said to if we want to learn more about um <clears throat> The, uh, what was it? Jackals in the streets? Oh, <laughs> jackals the street in the of jackals. Oh, the street yes. of jackals, yes, which I remembered perfectly and said to him without having to think about it at all. <laughs> um, the streets of jackals, that reminded him of one of our own Jackson Elias's books. So he said to go check with Prospero House, which was Jackson's publisher. Oh. You know, if we want to learn more about his work. Thelma, I knew you could do it. I had all the faith in your abilities from the beginning. Oh, that's wonderful. Now tell me, who was Faraj Meja? Huh? You were supposed to ask about Faraj Meja, weren't you? Well, I can go back up there and ask again. Thelma! I, I don't remember you. you. I don't remember who that was. Who was that? He was the guy that's in the streets of jackals. Oh. I think earlier Donnie was calling it Thera Major or something. This isn't even prudence. This oh, is okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I lady. do remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. Yes! Okay. We need that information! Alright. So I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll come with! (laughs) (laughs) Ooh. You don't have to come with, though, if you don't want to. (laughs) Oh, no, it's okay. I want to pick his brain. (laughs) Ooh. Well, (laughs) if you'd rather read your magazine, I... I know it has a lot of really um, important information in it. 
Oh, it does. And he is a refined professor. He'll probably appreciate this fork article. Let me go show him this fork article. Oh, no. Um, okay. She's this is a train that I can't it. stop. All right. Well, and she's going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going back up to Bruce Markey's God damn it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, you catch him on his way out the door, he locks the door and he's just like, Oh, hey kiddo. Uh sorry, the exit is just uh, right down that way. Oh yes, sir, you the professor I've heard so much about. Yes. Oh Lady Prudence Claythorne, please to make your Acquaintance. Pleasure. Yes. Shakes your hand. Absolutely. I'm sorry about her. She's unwell. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, ah, well, I was actually just heading out. Um, good day to both of you ladies. Oh, well, I ha- do you, does the name Faraj Mejar mean anything? Faraj Mejar? Kind of sounds like what you said earlier. No. Oh. No, I don't know anybody by that name. Okay. It sounds... I don't know. <laughs> sounds like a venereal uh, disease. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what charm! Oh, Thelma, isn't he charming? <laughs> yes, he is. Do not. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> Do not compete with her. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> she just wants that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I'm sorry. I hope Thelma wasn't too rude to you earlier. She needs no. to learn her manners. Sometime. No, no, not at all. She was uh, she was very refined. Really? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Thelma. Mm-hmm. See? She, she I don't need it. to go to Katerian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, I, I really do have to be. Uh, yeah, uh, he's, to you. Oh, he's very busy. Uh, come on, come on, Aunt Prudence, come with me. Here, before mm. I must tip you. I don't know if that's customary, but I'm gonna tip you. So don't. she. No, oh no, I couldn't. She takes off her don't. hat, revealing that like the large hat that Fuck it was me. just a poof. So when she takes <laughs> off the hat, it's still like a foot tall with the poof. So her hair, hang on. So her hair. Her hair is just the shape of the inside of her hat. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow. It fits like a glove. Wow. And she, <laughs> she, uh, she takes it and she, uh, she puts out, takes out a dolly. And oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, of course. And while she's not looking, she passes the dollar back to Thelma with um, a, a very kind look on his face. <laughs> Anything for the working class. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Come wow. on, on okay, Prudence. Yeah. I think, uh, I think right. maybe it's time to take you home. Maybe. Maybe time oh, for you to go. Yeah, home. To do, yeah. he's, he's, he's like started off down the hallway. Good day, ladies. Really got to run. Have, have a good one. Have a good one. I'll uh, I'll catch you later. Oh, Hello, right. hopefully not with, not with her. We'll get some stones later. It'll be wonderful. Blueberry he has not stopped walking. <laughs> 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 she turns to him. Oh, wasn't he a nice man? He was so. Um, nice. Yeah, he. Yeah, and he loved you. Um, <laughs> why don't we go meet up with the others at the museum? I think we've done enough here. Oh, but what about the publisher? Well, we could go check out the publisher, or hear me out on this. On. How the fuck do I you know, know divided. Oh, I don't know about the publisher. Yeah. Wait, no, she told me. No, I did tell her. She told me. Oh, she did mention yep. that. Sorry. I did. She tell did. Her. I was like, no, I'm not. The I did tell publisher. her. Okay. Yes, we need to see the publisher, but. I know this divide and conquer strategy is a lot of fun, but I feel like maybe we should meet up with the group and see what evidence they've gathered before moving on to the publisher. You just want to get in the backseat of that story maker again, shoot Thelma. Cutting back to the museum. 
<laughs> Were you guys to the museum from where you are? After Prudence is done? <laughs> was that the plan? What? Was that the plan? I heard, what'd you say? <laughs> so after Buddy's done, were you guys going to head to the museum? Oh, that was, is the plan. I, that's oh, that's my plan. Publisher. You wanted to go to the publisher. You want to go to the museum. What's the verdict? Well, I can't just let her loose on the publisher, so I'll have to go to the publisher with her if she's insisting on going to the publisher. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you guys are going to Prospero House. Or Prospero mm-hmm. House. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so that's where you're headed. Um, it is, uh, we're going to say it's probably about like 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, cutting back to the museum. Back in it. You were having a conversation about your next steps. Uh, so I'm gonna go steal the key from this guy. Uh, you guys wanna stay in here? You guys wanna come with me? I'm not getting involved with that. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Francis, I might be able to use your help. I'm a police officer. Sure, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Peer pressure. <laughs> All right, uh, let, let's let's go. Uh, stay quiet, uh, Rocky. Do whatever you're gonna do in here. Keep your pants on. Sure. <laughs> Rocky, as they leave, what are you gonna? My main priority is gonna be like guarding the the sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> Do something to it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I guess in the meantime, I can like, I don't know, take pictures of it for reference okay. later. Yeah, totally. Um. Okay. You two. <laughs> All right. So, do uh, which way did the guy go? Well, there's really only one way in, one way. Out. Sarcophagus. Um. Okay. So you you go around that kind of dark corner, and you can see that he is caning his way across the floor. Um, he's about to the hallway that leads back to sort of the main atrium area. Um, so he's leaving the Egypt exhibit. Okay. But he's pretty slow. He's an old man. All right. Francis. Yeah. I got to be honest. I got a bit of a gun on me. So if I try to sneak up behind this guy, he's going to hear me coming. Okay? It's got to be you. Okay. Okay? Sure. He's working his way down the hall. That takes a lot of effort for an old man, okay? He's not going to be expecting someone to take his keys out from under him. Okay? Yeah. So. You're up. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna go and sneak up on him. Watch out for the cat! He's got those eyes on him. Roll stealth. <laughs> okay! <laughs> are you, are you really stealthy? I think you're stealthier be. than me, hopefully. Uh, At seven. Huh? At seven I feet? I'll oh, got you at seven feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot your lady dress. <laughs> That's a third degree. No! Oh, shit! shit. You got a critical success? Wait. Light on your toes. You just mirror his footsteps and you sneak up. You're not making a goddamn sound as you're crossing the floor. Not even the cat turns around, which is perched on his shoulder again, to look at you. So you get all the way up to where you are within reaching distance, and you notice a small key ring on the back of his belt. I snatch it. Okay. To do this, if you want to do it stealthily, you are going to have to roll sleight of hand. Okay. So it will will be a separate roll. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. How's your sleight of hand? Not as good. What is it? I heard a cat! Yeah, I I heard a cat! Well, that's what I heard a cat! Speaking of Jack, no! <laughs> My sleight of hand is. What? Holy oh, shit! No, what? That's horrible. What I got a twenty-seven. You well, you failed. Uh, <gasps> okay. Well. All right. Um. Yeah. You reach for it, and as he's walking, he just kind of like uh, stumbles in his old man gait, 
causing the keys to go up against your fingers. The cat whips its head around. Oh, you scared me. Uh, what, are, what are you doing? Uh, Can I help you? I, I just dropped my trumpet. <laughs> just dropped my oh. trumpet. You gotta say that I have. You gotta I told say you, I you, It's just everywhere. Yeah. I can't it's just understood fun. that you. Okay, fine. Yes. <laughs> just, I made right. that clear to me. So, I remember? I, I remember that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, okay, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my tongue. <laughs> All right. Um, you are going to have to roll fast talk. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, by, by the way, as soon as those keys jingle, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to. Go back behind where I was hiding. Okay. Just that way I'm not there. <laughs> I will remind you, just in case you fail another roll, pushing rolls is a thing. Oh. So if you fail your roll, you can push, which allows you to roll again, but you have to raise the stakes, which means if you fail again, the consequences are going to be worse. So, with that being said, roll fast talk. Uh, that's a success. A success? Okay. Yes. So he's just like, oh! Oh, yo, that's so weird. I didn't even hear it. And how did you? Well, I, uh, my hearing's not what it once was. I'm an old man. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, let, let's go, Sodi. Um, he just starts caning away again. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. <Go>. Well. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, re um... Regroup. Regroup. <laughs> Guys, I couldn't get it. Sorry. All right, we're gonna we're, we're gonna have to take a different angle on this. Okay. <laughs> if we can't steal it from him, we're gonna have to find a way to convince him to give us the keys. <laughs> Any suggestions? You could try to talk to him. <laughs> I do got quite the tongue on me, so I think. <laughs> No. <laughs> I, I think I'm the guy. <laughs> Question: uh, It's nine forty-one. We're coming up on ten. Is everybody game to go past ten tonight or not? Nah? Unanimous no, vote is required. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm okay. Game. Well, then. With that being said, we're gonna take a second break tonight because Light just got a poop. <laughs> Light just okay. got a poop. Light just got a poop. Why just gotta poop? 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 They're back. <laughs> Stack attack is back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Anyone else? <laughs> Stack attacks? Great I'm value good. Pringles. <laughs> Great value Pringles that I got on purpose. Welcome to my YouTube yeah. channel. Today I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be rating these um Great Value Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they've got an interesting mouthfeel. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I I've had Pringles before. They're, they're not the same, but uh, you know, maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> It'll be a real potato chip someday. Maybe. Actually, it's not a potato chip. One go. It's not, because like Pringles can't legally call it potato chips. Oh, really? It it's... doesn't meet the definition of their potato crisp. Potato crisps. Mm -hmm. Who owns the word potato chip? Oh, no, it, like, it doesn't meet like the legal definition. Like, it means they the are, uh... legal definition. <laughs> Are, is that not potatoes? I don't know. Or potato, wait, what's the difference? Well, no, they're not gluten free. Is that it? It was just the one piece of information I knew. I think the word crisp is British, um, <laughs> and the word chip is American. <laughs> no, so no, I think, no. So I think British originally. Is that. Is that... <laughs> no. No, John Oliver talked about it. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I guess I missed that. Yeah. So that. wait, why can't they call it? Why can't they call it that? I'll have to... Okay. Well, let's research. Well, These they can change gluten. 
They contain gluten? Except for mine that I have. Mine are gluten free. <laughs> Gluten free Pringles. I eat the gluten free Pringles. <sighs> oh! Yeah, I'm not like other girls. My body doesn't process gluten very well. <laughs> so, I'm so interested now. I want to know. Pringles are not actually made with real potatoes. What? The recipe calls for dehydrated processed potato. And the FDA ruled in 1975 that Pringles could only be called chips if they provided a disclaimer, identifying them as potato chips made from dried potato. <laughs> so Pringles scrapped that idea and named them Chris. Pringles made from dried potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Made from like, real yeah. dried potatoes. Yes. They went with the Pringles man instead of just a potato. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, John Oliver had this whole thing about how like he wanted to know what the body of the Pringles man. I remember that. Was, was I that... Think, didn't he have like uh, his fans like throw in concept art? Mm -hmm. <laughs> fans wrote in like Pringles leather daddy That's and like so or, like a Pringles like leather daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Absolutely. <laughs> That's him in his truest form. <laughs> I mean, truest form. <laughs> when he when he's off the job. Yeah. Life is a lot. It it is. Yeah. This this whole time I've been eating Pringles because they're healthy. But then I found out they're not even potatoes. They're not even. They're, I know. What have I been doing? They're dehydrated potato product. Yeah, potato product. But what is potato product? Exactly. Well, what is that? That's exactly. That's like uh, that's like McNuggets. <laughs> yeah, that's like it's not chicken. It's not quite chicken. It's chicken product. What is it? Chicken <laughs> product. product. <laughs> Pringles, oh, man. You Pringles are not potato chips. I did hear you say that. Yep. And uh, we discovered why. Apparently, they're in a legal box where they can't call themselves. Oh my god. Potato chips. Because they're they're made <laughs> not made with real potato. Apparently, they're made with shit right there. <laughs> yeah. They're it's made like, with that crazy. It's like craft singles. They have to call it like, um, oh, what is it? It's like non-dairy cheese product or something. Yes. Because oh, mm -hmm. it, it ain't cheese. Mm -hmm. Non-dairy cheese product. At McDonald's, something like that. You will never sit hear them say ice cream. Nope. Because what it's not that? ice cream. They'll they say cone McFlurries because they can't call it ice. cream. You want a cone? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Is cone. there a, the cone? No, yeah, a you? chocolate cone, vanilla. Chats are big. You guys are kidding me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm obviously not responding to stuff when we're playing, but I'm reading most of it. You guys are freaking killing me. <laughs> oh, I need to. So, why is Frank? <laughs> why Thank is you, Frank? Dan. I don't, I don't know. I'm in a lot of our streams, so they've seen a lot of your bullshit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I've been no. wondering that myself. <laughs> Is that Jack? Yes, it's Meow Meow. Hey, we got a Meow yeah, Meow. Jack is oh, here. I'll switch to the main screen just so you can see the Meow Meow. Purr to the mic, Jack. If only you purred as loud as your crunches. <laughs> oh, if only. If only. All right, we are back in three, two. All right, we are back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that cat is so cute. Um, okay. Little cutie. So, uh, where were we? <laughs> I think you two were hatching out Plan B. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so you're still in, you're in the front room of the Egypt exhibit, Egypt exhibit, and you have gone back around the corner. So are you going back to Donnie at this point? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I would like to attempt to perform psychoanalysis on this guy. I want to, <laughs> okay, so Mr. Know. is not even eyesight of you. But just from what I know about him. Can I do that? So, does he have to be around me? When you say you'd like to perform psychoanalysis, what does that mean to Donnie DiCicelli? Um, I want to know, <laughs> I want to know what gets under his skin. You want to know what gets under his skin? I want to know what will upset him. Okay, so I don't know if I can, well, you're just trying to get like a solid read on this guy. Is that about where, where we're at? Yes. I also just had an idea, but specifically want to know what gets. 
Like, what if we Why don't? Cat? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so uh, let, let me let me ask you this so psychoanalysis you might be able to use that to tell like is he off his rocker are you picking up on things that might be unusual in his psyche if you want to know just like general rundown of his personality and what you've observed of him probably psychology I think I'm going to go with psychology that, okay. that seems like a better that would be like a read on the psychoanalysis more like what he does okay. study the practice of like does this guy have Tourette's syndrome or something like gotcha. that? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, that is, <laughs> that's like a ninety-eight. Is it an edge? Uh, an edge, but it's also in the so. <laughs> so that's a failure. <laughs> that's a Wait, failure. hang on. Uh, what's the skill? Psychology. Thirty-five. Okay, you're fine. So it's just a failure. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. So just getting the general read on the guy. Kind of a creepy old man. Um. Mm. Look, 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 bit of an enigma so we know two things about this guy uh first of all he's a creepy old man correct <laughs> yeah second of all he loves that cat that is true don't uh <laughs> no i <laughs> no don't i i i'm not proud of this uh <laughs> Why is so we, Frank? We, we, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was just that Why cat. is Frank? <laughs> uh, I'm not proud of this, uh, but well, we we got to get some information somehow. Okay, we got to get those keys. Okay, and I I think the cat is our way in. Okay, do you know how to write a ransom note? <laughs> oh no. What is happening? Is oh, no. <laughs> okay, Rocky, you can. Where are we going? Yeah, you, you can hear this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go up to them and just be like, "Stop! Whatever you're doing, stop. We're not kidnapping anything. <laughs> not, not even that weird-looking cat. No, that's his cat. We can't take yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I want to steal it. No." <laughs> Well, no. well, what else? Are, what else are we gonna do? Uh, we gotta get the keys. We don't need the keys. We gotta get inside. We, we need the keys. keys. We really don't need the keys. <laughs> well, okay. Well, if we don't need the keys, if we don't want to see in the sarcophagus, what are we gonna do? What's next? Uh, uh, um, you know, we could meet up with the others. <laughs> Buddy's dying. <laughs> 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 All I'm saying is what relevant information have we found thus far in this museum that's not the Guggenheim? <laughs> okay? The one thing that we haven't seen is inside this sarcophagus. It's just going to be a body and... Yeah. It could be more. I don't know what the... you're expecting is going to be What if there. the symbol's in <laughs> What if we see the symbol that was on Eliza's forehead? So what? What, yeah, so what, what significance so we have a Simple. we know this had something to do with that <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a lead I don't know what we're gonna find in there is it gonna be a body is it gonna be a, a, is it gonna be a mummy I don't I don't know <clears throat> but I'm willing to find out <laughs> <laughs> go ahead do whatever you want to have you asked him if he looked inside it yet <laughs> <laughs> I I have not. Uh, I guess, I guess that could be one route. Uh, <laughs> you know what? That that's a good idea, Rocky. That. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna walk after the uh, the old man. Okay. Okay. He is now in the main area. It's like he's sort of just like making the rounds. He's like dusting a plaque a little bit as he goes. He's just sort of like turning his way around. Hey, uh, old man. Oh, uh, yes, officer. Uh, so I was just wondering. Yes. Uh, we're, we're on this case, obviously. Um, All right. And I was just wondering, uh, did I see inside that sarcophagus? No. 
No, no, no. I've told you many times now. No, we can't open it. Okay. Well, 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 let's see. well first of all, you can open it. Well, let's just get that clear. <laughs> Second of all, uh, have seen inside the sarcophagus? Have I seen inside the sarcophagus? Yeah, what's inside? Well, yes, of course. No, I haven't. But, <sighs> no. No. Only the ones who brought it in could see inside of it. You can't just open a sarcophagus and expose something like that. Well, stop, stop right there. You're not talking. <laughs> who who Listen, this you thing? may be an officer of the law, but I will not be spoken to this way in my own establishment. Who brought the sarcophagus to? I don't see any reason to continue this conversation. Okay. What is your badge I was, number? I, I got a little heated. What is your badge number? Um, oh, we don't have those. Uh, <laughs> there's a number on... We don't have those! Move your hand! Oh, oh no. I, what? I, what? What about it? <laughs> Listen. Madge, dear, I, would you call the police? I would. And the lady at the ticket counter is just like... <laughs> she gets up to start to walk to the phone. Oh, I mean, I'm the police. I, can I help anybody? <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I do for you? Me, sir, at this point, I'm exiting the museum. Okay, where can I get Tried some more information patients. about this? What kind of information do you want about I want to know where that sarcophagus came from. No. Look, okay, sir. Sir. <laughs> I, I came to you. I came to you nicely. I came to like Archa. I came to you <laughs> respectfully. I, I asked you politely. Nothing about your where, demeanor has been respectful, officer. Oh, well, you know, different <laughs> point of views, different perspectives. I, I just don't see why you can't give me a little information. I... Because you're a dick. No, it's Dick Shelly. I think we're done here. Ah. And he starts to walk over towards Madge, too, and they're both just kind of, like, hobbling their way to the telephone. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you just lost my business! Good. I heard you didn't pay the full price of entry anyway, cheapskate. I was close. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll walk back to the top. I was close. Serve and protect my keister. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, uh, it turns out this old man is kind of a prick. Okay? Uh, <laughs> you uh, don't want to answer any of my questions. He's not willing to give us any information. Uh, I don't know what his deal is. Uh, you know, I... I kind of think our only option is the cat now. Uh, so, how about... <laughs> Go and meet with the others. I, I guess we could do that, but if we, but if we hit a brick wall, I'm... Okay? Francis, we have to keep him away from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave now, maybe? Yeah, we should probably go. They're calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you guys walk out, back out into the main room. Madge is standing there with phone in hand. Um, and they look over your way, and he's just got a scowl across his face at this point, Mr. Whipple. And he's just like, It would probably be best if you all moved along now. Thank you for visiting the museum. Just, just, just don't make eye contact. <laughs> Just keep walking. Look straight ahead. And might I suggest to you two make better friends in the future? Oh, we're not friends. <laughs> Definitely uh, not. I don't blame them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna gonna step outside. Okay. Um. So, yeah, you know, where are the others? Where Where do we go now? Uh, we can head back to the uh, Waldorf. I think that's a good plan. Try to meet the others. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here anyway. To... Yeah. Let's get on our way. Um, Dicicelli, uh, make a luck roll. Oh, shit. Luck? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Uh, well, it's a fail. Fail? Okay. So... Um, so you head back, uh, you do get to the Waldorf, and <clears throat> you're trying to go back up to Prudence's room? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
So you do. Some leftover lobster. You guys head up there, and uh, it's locked. <laughs> yeah, Prudence's hotel room is. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, well, if if you guys have any other suggestions, uh, uh, <laughs> why don't you just bust this thing down? It wouldn't be that hard. Have you tried knocking first? <laughs> I like the way you think, Rocky. <laughs> no answer. Bro! Oh, man, this, this turned out great last time. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> All right, clearly they're not home. Uh, we're going to have to bust this thing open. <laughs> no! <laughs> somewhere else. What? what they, could, they could be dead in there. What, I mean... Like last time we just sat and uh, then picked around for a little bit, uh, Jackson Elias died. Alright, so not wrong. Not many more options. Like one, one option. <laughs> one, we could ask the, the attendant if they came in recently. <laughs> Two, we could wait downstairs for them. Rocky's slab. <laughs> <laughs> Three, we could try to call their room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's about to squawk. <laughs> well, uh, I only asked for one suggestion, but I guess three will do. Um, yeah, we should, we should probably go back down to the lobby. We'll start there. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> she died. Over there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting back across town to Thelma and Prue, oh. you've arrived at a uh, you've arrived at a building that has um, at least one table out front where somebody is sitting with a coffee and a book. Uh, there's a few people coming and going, and there's a sign up top that says Prospero House. Ooh, a little logo. Thelma, I believe when he reached the correct location. Oh, how did you know? Was it? The sign? Look, it. There's Prospero Book Publishing right there. Oh my god. You're so <laughs> annoying. Oh, fun. You're, you have to do ten pages of Dickens tonight. Of Emily of, of Emily Dickens? <laughs> <laughs> no, sure. I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> Okay. Like Char- Hang on, Charles Dickinson? No, Dickens. Not Charles Dickens? <laughs> <laughs> no, tonight! I said Emily Dickens. Uh, yeah, she said Emily oh, Dickens. Okay. <laughs> no, Charles! Listen, I'm so... Dickens. I am so done with you. Like, I wanted to go to the museum the whole time, but no. You were like, oh, let's go to the college. So we go to the college. <laughs> I get the information to come here for you because you did nothing. And then I'm like, okay, now I want to go to the museum again. And you say, yeah, you did nothing. (laughs) Like you're doing nothing right now. Oh my God, this is so annoying. I. (sighs) Well, I never. I'm going. I'm going in. I had such great expectations for you. All of that, all of that was meant just to get to that fucking joke. <laughs> all of that. All of that. That was all that. set up for that punchline. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Everyone take a blood pressure check. <laughs> Vibe check, everyone's dead. <laughs> Tabaxi, you are amazing, and you too, Kawhi. Thank you so much, guys. Um, so you guys walk into Prospero House. Um, so there, there are a few people standing around, um, going to and fro. You're noticing some offices, um, and there is a front desk with a bell <clears throat> and a young man behind the desk. As you walk up, though, it's not a super big building. Uh, it's not cramped, but it's, it's moderate. Um, he looks up and he's just like, ah, welcome to Prospero House. And uh, how may I assist you today? 
Oh yes, Lady Hi. Poonin's Claytor and Chard, I'm sure. Oh, have we met, or...? No. No. Oh, um... All right, well, uh, how can I help you today? Well... <laughs> oh, we, have you ever heard of the name? Um... Yes. <laughs> Jack? Oh, God. You might want to see a Why doctor for that call. Me? <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> um, what was it that you said, young lady? We're here because we knew Jackson Elias pretty well. Oh, um, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh Yeah. Dear. We were so I'm sad sure heard. to hear about Mr. Elias' passing. I know Jonah was just, oh. Was Jonah? Well, yes, jo- Jonah Kensington. He's the uh, owner and chief editor here at Prospero House. Oh, yes. He, uh, He's taking a little bit of time off right now. Oh, really? That beaten yes. up about it? Yes, yes. Um, really? He should be back in tomorrow if you were wanting to see him. Um, I've heard Mr. Elias' funeral is tomorrow as well. So. <laughs> well, Anywho, oh, yes. um, what did you just knock off the table? <laughs> 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 empty water. Okay. Um, as long as you didn't spill something on the surge protector. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, sorry. It's just... The mood's a little dour here right now. What can we, um, what can we do for you? Oh, well, uh, are, are you... Work? Well, we publish his work, yes. Well, great. More familiar than most, I'd say. I just, Yes, your attitude is... Scary. Uh, we wanted to know about a specific phrase. Um, okay. in one of his books... He had used the phrase, um, uh, what was it? Jackals in the streets? Jackal streets? The streets jackals of in jackals. Streets? Street of jackals. The streets uh, of jackals. And, <clears throat> you know, I haven't read in depth of all of his work. Um, but that was a quote that came up before he died. And... <laughs> I think it might have something to do <clears throat> with his murder. Wow. Wow. Interesting. <clears throat> um, well, I, I've not heard of anything like that my, myself. Um, I've also not read all of his books. Um, read some of them. I, I, I like it. Um, I'll tell you what. For, um, for friends of Mr. Elias, um, one moment. And he presses a, an intercom. Uh, Mr. Kensington. I'm sure they had those in the 20s. Probably. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Mr. Kensington, yeah. um, there are uh, friends of Mr. Elias here. Uh, they have some questions. And there's a pause, and then you hear <laughs> Well, send them in. <laughs> Alright, yes. Uh, good. It's just right back that way. Just turn left, and um, it's, the, it's the one with the, uh, the big doors at the end of the hall. Thank you. Guide me. Thank you. I really have to stay at my desk. Oh, oh my god. I don't yeah, I really like to. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Duty first, always. Yeah. That's usually what I say as soon as I wake. Duty first. <laughs> Another person walks in. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Prospero House. Yes, uh, he will see you back there now. Um, Hi, yes, right this way. No, but wasn't he charming? <laughs> He was so nice. Yeah, he was super charmed by you. Okay. Let's <laughs> go talk to talk to talk to Jonah. So we're going back to his office. Okay, so you guys head back there. You do see a big door at the end and a nameplate on it, Jonah Kinsington, um, editor in chief. You push it open. And we're gonna jump back over to the wall for you. So room is locked. You're not hearing anything. What's the mood? I think we're gonna head down. To the <laughs> okay, back, to <laughs> back back again. So you guys head down there. Um, there is uh, somebody at the front desk. Um, there's also uh, somebody at talking the- to them. Um, so it looks like it is a mail carrier, and they're speaking to one of the attendants at the hotel. It's got a telegram in hand, and you hear the word thrown out. Claythorn. Uh, Clay, Claythorn. Clay, are you, um, Prudence Claythorn? Maybe? <laughs> I, 
Yeah, 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 yes! Yes! That's me! I'm Lady Prudence Playthorn! <laughs> Deceased! Is Sam gone for that? <laughs> So is she? Oh no, oh Nightbot did some shit. God damn what, it. Nightbot? Sorry, know. Nightbot Wait, doesn't like symbols. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, we'll get that fixed mm. at some point. Um, I'm gonna kick you right in your mouth. <laughs> uh, it's always something in this town. Anywho, when uh, Lady Prudence Claythorne gets in, just to give her this, and they, they take it behind the counter, looking strangely at DiCicelli, and they're just like, yes, yes we will. Of course. Oh, 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 thank you very much. Very uh, polite. Um, uh, good, good on you, sir. You could call somebody for him? Who would you call? <laughs> it's a cop. <laughs> All right, let's take a fucking look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> See this all day. <laughs> um, um, I, I can't give this to you. This is, this is for... Lady Prudence Claythorne, one of our tenants, as I'm oh. sure you know. Oh, oh, I'm trying to yes. impersonate her. That, that no. would be me. Yes, you know what? Uh, Why do you have your dice? You don't get to roll for this. <laughs> <laughs> no! I reject. <laughs> I reject. Well, oh, you're, you're treating me like one of those streetwalkers. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, oh, no. I am Lady Prudence Claythorn, and I will not be treated as this. Are you guys gonna do anything about this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm very sorry for him. Uh, we're, we're friends of Lady Prudence Claythorn. <laughs> well, her loss. Uh, I think we're gonna hang on to this until Lady Prudence arrives. So, bye bye. Oh, okay, listen, listen. I, I'm not Lady Prudence, okay? <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> but we, but that going just that I don't have time to explain right now, okay? But we need yes. to see this letter as soon as possible. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would I let you do that? I can't tell you. It's classified. <laughs> it's cl- Fast talk. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, it's gonna be <gasps> hard at this. Point. Ah! It's a ninety. <laughs> yeah, no fucking way. They're just like, no, it's not. No, sorry. What's your batch number? What's your batch number? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> yes, they do. One of the numbers is poking out. I can see it. Oh, then no, I don't know. No. Oh, that's, that's the precinct number. <laughs> What's your precinct number? Uh, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I really don't want there to be trouble over this, so maybe just move along. Thank you. Trying to serve this our guests guy, here. This guy doesn't want trouble. That I'll give you trouble. <laughs> Don't leave that guy alone, please. Oh, I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. Whatever. Whatever. This guy. This guy over here. Why is Frank? <laughs> Why? Why is Frank? <laughs> uh, I guess we can go up to the desk. You're at the desk. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so there's the mail guy, but is there anybody else? Mail guy's long. Oh, well, he's gone. Yeah, there yeah they've else? taken the telegram and put it behind the desk. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not looking for the telegram. Okay, I know I'm not going to get the telegram. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just told you to move along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just got a question. I just what? got. If you'll what? indulge what? me, what? okay? What? what? Have you seen Lady what? Prue? <laughs> okay. Lady, not recently. Lady Prudence Claythorne. You not seen recently. <laughs> she didn't come in here. Not recently! <laughs> uh, do you know where they might be? Did they, did they I call can't it? tell you where I... Even if I knew! Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. 
Die, Donnie, <laughs> come over here. Come on, I'm gonna like take Donnie to the side. Uh, stop I'll, stop I'll harassing. Go. Stop harassing them. They don't know, and they can't tell you. I don't think I was harassing. If anything, I was the. One. But uh, I guess we can just wait around until uh, Lady Prue and the uh, Priscilla come. There he is, uh, everybody. There's the jackass causing every <laughs> scene on this stream tonight. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I thought Lady Prudence took the bit into chaos. <laughs> Believe me, she was. <laughs> but this guy. Well, the more meat I've had tonight. Uh... <laughs> Donnie's drinking on the job again. <laughs> uh, so what, are we just going to sit around with our dicks hanging out, or are we going to find these people? <laughs> you could just we, wait for them. Yes, we talked about going to Sing Sing. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well... <laughs> We could go to they're, sing. They're you really need something to do in the meantime. They're coming back here, aren't they? Well, they'll be back, but I, I, we, if we have a couple hours, I don't see why we shouldn't be a little productive, you know? If we go to Sing Sing and uh, trash some of the prisoners, I don't see why we can do that. Trash some of the prisoners. I don't think we should let them in. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready to go? <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, we're we're going to keep you contained to this building. Oh, you're going to keep me contained. You're going to keep me contained. Like, I don't got a cop car. Like, I don't got a, a pistol on my hip. Like, shotgun in the back seat. You're going to keep this guy contained. Well, I can ask nicely. Uh, I don't think that's going to do much. Uh, I'm going to Sing Sing. Y'all coming with me? No, we're not. And neither are you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping back to Prospero House. No, you're not. Jumping back to Prospero House, you push open the door to Jonah Kensington's office. Behind the desk, there is a very large man. Um, he is sort of like bulging out over his chair. His belly is on the top of the desk. He has a cowboy hat on and he has a bolo tie. There are tissues all over his desk. His nose is red. His eyes are red. His big wobbly cheeks are red. <laughs> he blows into a tissue right as you walk. Well, howdy there, folks. You uh, heard you was friends of uh, of Jackson. <laughs> oh, oh yes. yeah. We were. We were. Well, a timely demise. Yeah. You know, shut that there Galder door and uh. Uh, sit, sit a while, sit a while. Yes, we can all cry together for our loss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's nice to see someone else actually showing emotion about this, because believe it or not, <clears throat> most of the people who knew him, at least this woman specifically, were not showing the accurate amount of sadness for what just happened. Oh. <gasps> You were uh, close with him, right? It's okay. Sometimes she doesn't know she can not tell someone how to grieve in the way that they grieve. I don't know what that means, but I sure am sad. Yes, it's okay. We can all be sad together. <laughs> Blue! <laughs> Whoa! Your name is Jonah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jonah... Oh, Jonah Kensington. Uh, how long have you owner, been here? Owner, editor, Prospero House. Ooh. Well, how long have you been here? Well, uh, we've been here for 25 Galdern years. Well, how long has Mr. Elias been with you? 13 Galdern years. <laughs> 13. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was a particular fan of the skulls on the river. It was a good one, wasn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> I still don't know why they weren't on fjords, but it's okay. Well, uh, I don't want to take y'all's time of crying away the end. Uh, what can I help you with? Well, believe it or not, uh, my name is Lady Prudence Claythorne. You said that. 
I, I didn't get a reaction last time, so I just thought you needed to hear it again. Sorry. I, I couldn't muster one through the tears. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's Elvis with a hint of hate. <laughs> it's okay. We are here to. Uh, oh, in God this... damn it! I got tears on my blue suede shoes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now I stepped on them. Continue. <laughs> We're here to well, uh, um, investigate his dad. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, uh, hang on. Just a gold hurt minute. Gold hurt it. You're investigating his uh, murder? Why, uh, yes. Well, uh... For it was us he reached out right before he met his demise. He did. But we were not in time. What did he say? He said something about how he had something to say about the Carlisle expedition. Uh, Does that mean something to you? Did he sound scared? Why, I mean, now that you think about it, yes, I didn't think that at the time, but I did. Well, listen to this. I don't know if you read the papers, but uh, they're saying uh, some kind of cult, not a murder team. And I, I think, I think they might be right. Okay, I don't believe everything I read in the papers. No, I don't. No, I don't, Lord Jesus, but I believe this one. I do. And I'll tell you why as I consult my notes. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) Listen. I think I think that Jackson was on the verge of something big. And I don't know. I don't know if it was one of the enemies he made along the way. He's surely pissed off a lot of bad people. Or if he'd stumbled onto something new. And he knew too much. Well, what can you tell us about this Carlisle expedition? Well, I'm sorry, little lady. What was that? Yeah, sorry. I keep getting interrupted. (laughs) Um, It's okay. I can speak for you. (laughs) Careful, Icarus. Oh, my (laughs) God. Okay, sorry. Um, Sorry about her. Uh, <laughs> that was quite all right. There was a phrase. Um, <clears throat> there was a phrase that uh, Jackson used that came up before his death. It was um, the streets of jackals, or the street of jackals. Um, I believe it's from one of his books. Does that ring a bell to you? I don't think so. I've read every one of the books of published. I love. I've n- I never read nothing about no street of jackals. Oh, does the name Faraj Major mean? Faraj Major? No. Oh, something of that. I don't reckon it does. It does not. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. It sounds Egyptian, does it not? Well, I guess they think it of does. that immediately. It does. Eureka. No. Oh, it's so there. It? Jackson was in Egypt last year. He was in Egypt? What was, was he doing there? Well, I reckon he was investigating that Carlisle expedition what gone to Egypt. Ooh, Egypt! In fact, he uh, sent me a telegram from Egypt. Listen. Did he really? Do you have it? Now, y'all are friends of Jackson's, okay? And you know that he got into some crazy stuff. Oh, yes. So I don't want y'all to think old Jonah being crazy. No. No, Jesus, no. Never. I ain't know what, uh, what they call them conspiracy theories. It ain't one of them, no. Jackson believed, and I think he was right, yes, Lord, that some of the Carlisle expedition may not be dead. What? I not Interesting. Still I thought they were all executed. So, That's certainly what the paper said. And like I said, I don't believe Galdern reporters at the time. No, well, except for when they said that, that cult killed him. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> let, me sh- let me show you something. Let me show you something. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Let me tab over to my alt screen. 
Oh, oh yes. <laughs> How I want to show you. Oh yes. How alternative. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something that Jackson sent me. Ooh, go ahead. Yes. Now, I believe, man, all my stuff's out of order because my folder fell. <laughs> um, uh, hey, let me make sure this is the right one. Hang on. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, 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 okay, this one. Now, I believe uh, Jackson was... <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I believe at the time Jackson was uh he was in Kenya when he sent me this here letter. Uh why don't y'all uh, why don't y'all take a take a look at this? Oh yes, don't mind if I do. August 8th, 1924. By let's see, the 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 letterhead says Reggie Baines, proprietor of the Hampton House Hotel in Nairobi. Dear Joda, big news! There is a possibility that. <laughs> <laughs> and let her cut off right there. <laughs> there is a possibility that. You want me to read it? They're all. Let me read it. Let me read it. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Joda, it is big news. Person. There's a possibility that not all of the members of the Carlisle expedition died. I have a lead. Thought the authorities. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> though, <laughs> somebody actually hand wrote historical society. Uh, though the authorities uh, here deny the cult angle, the natives sing a different tune. You wouldn't believe the stories. Uh, uh, some juicy notes coming your way. This one may make us all rich. Blood and kisses, Jay. Blood and kisses. <clears throat> he used to sign with just a J. Just like that. Just like <laughs> that, I tell you. <laughs> See, he kiss you. Did he ever send Blood you the Blood and notes? kisses is interesting, though. Well, that's Blood Jackson. Blood and he kisses always... is an interesting way to end it. He always had a way with so... words. And there's been a lot of... He did have a sense of humor. I'll tell you what. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Samantha. (laughs) 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 Okay. So... So do you have... Did he ever get to send the notes? Or... He did. Did he die before He he could? Let me show y'all something, and uh, this may erase any any doubt that you have left in your mind. I know you got it for me. <laughs> so he pulls out a packet, <laughs> drops it on the table. There's about forty pages in there. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Pretty intimidating. We've combed through them, and uh, I've I've got a rundown of what's in here for you. And uh, oh. I'll let you take a look at this, too. Absolutely. An abbreviated list. Oh, you are an American. (laughs) (laughs) Aunt Prudence, you're an American, too. I don't trust you. That's the friend. (laughs) (laughs) No offense. (laughs) Okay, there's a lot to read here. (laughs) Boy. I got his normal voice. Yes, you can do it in your notes. Please do. Please. Yeah. Do. I was like, oh, that's a lot for Prue. <laughs> um, <it looks> like <laughs> the summary was by Kenneth Newton, K.N. Uh, it was submitted on 8-8-24. Submission title, Notes Regarding African Death Cult, sent from Nairobi, Kenya. Description, notes were received in eight separate groupings. Set one... <clears throat> Four pages, uh, documents, documents, meetings taken by J.E. with various officials in Kenyan government, judiciary, and tribal leaders J.E. met with during his time in Kenya. Seems affronted by response given by Roger Corden, Kenya's colonial undersecretary for internal affairs. No new irrelevant information provided. J.E. clearly dissatisfied with official version documenting the massacre of the Carlisle expedition. 
nothing conclusive. J.E. states intent to meet with tribal leaders from Kikuyu, Maasai, and Namba tribes, Embu, Miru, Mabir, the section unclear. Set 2. Six pages. Describes his journey to site of Carlisle Massacre. Location described in very vague terms, as if he doesn't want anyone reading notes to easily find it. J.E. very stuck by fact that very struck by fact that site of massacre is entirely barren, nothing alive. Tribesmen who led him there claim the place is cursed by the god of the Black Wind, whose home is a nearby mountain site would seem to be in the Outer Bear region. Set 3. 17 pages. J.E. met with Kenyan nationalist, revolutionary, Jonestown Kenyatta. According to Kenyatta, uh, Carlisle murders may have been carried out by a cult, the Bloody Tongue. Kenyatta says cult is reportedly based in mountains, and that high priest is part of the mountain of Black Wind. J.E. expresses skepticism. Kenyatta goes on to say the local tribes fear and hate the bloody tongue. Their tribal magic provides no protection against the cult. Kenyatta also asserts that this cult, this cult's god, is not of Africa. J.E. Of, is of opinion that Kenyatta is a reasonable whose political ambitions are far less dangerous than the ambitions of the blood. Set four, eight pages. These notes appear to be follow-up of Kenyatta interview. Neither, neither set is dated individually. J.E. asserts his sources. Good ones assert ooh, sorry, that the bloody tongue really exists. No first-hand evidence. One source told of children stolen for sacrifices and creatures with great wings coming from the mountain of the Black Wind to carry people off. To where? J.E. notes that God, that the god of this cult does not appear in documented folklore and does not cleave to patterns traditional in, to African cults. J.E. notes having questioned San Mariga uh, railway station, Neville Jerriman, Dr. Starrett, Lieutenant Stelkirk, and Captain Endicott as persons questioned, but provides no details from missing information provided by any of them. Additional notes missing? Set five. One page. Consists of a single sheet of paper, apparently look at the Cairo portion of the Carlisle's expedition itinerary. Suggest Kenya activities only made sense when understood through Egypt. Impetus for Carlisle's Kenyan side, side trip is on the Nile. Quotes. 21, uh, set 6, 21 pages. Record of long interview conducted with Lieutenant Mark Selkirk of King's African Rifle. Selkirk was a leader of the men who found the remains of the Carlisle expedition. J. E struck by fact that the bodies were remarkably undecayed for the length of time that they have been laying in the open, almost as if decay itself wouldn't come near the place. According to Selkirk, victims have been torn apart as if by animals. When pressed as to what kind of animal systematically pull, prey, pull apart their prey, Selkirk, Selkirk could offer no conjecture. Unimaginable Inexplicable, inexplicable. Selkirk equivocated about role of tribesmen in alleged murder of expedition. He said they might have something to do with it, maybe. Gave the impression a political insurrection against ringleaders were trumped up. He said hardly the first time that's happened. J.E. very interested in the fact that Selkirk <clears throat> couldn't confirm whether any Caucasians were clearly part of the remains discovered by his team. Contradict statement given at inquest. Set 7. One page. Single sheet description of conversation with Nails Nelson at the Victoria Bar in Nairobi. 
Nelson was the mercenary for the Italians on the Somali Abyssinian border, double crosser or double crossed employers and escaped to Kenya. Says he saw Jack Brady alive in Hong Kong around 1922. Long day long after court declared declared Brady and rest of the expedition dead. Certain it was Jack Brady. Nelson claims he was friendly but eager to say too much. J.E. asserts that Carlisle Expedition is probably a lie, at least its principal members. Set 8. One page. Vague. Contemplation of structure of book. 1. Tell what happened. 2. Explain why. 3. How they did. 4. A greater purpose. 5. Ending. J.E.'s failure to elaborate rendered all but useless. Submitted for approval. Ah. That was a mouthful. Ah. Ah. I never got to finish it. <laughs> never did. He <laughs> never did. Oh. This, is all, uh, this is all very disturbing. Well, could you maybe yeah, have a copy of this? There's matrix? a lot there. Oh, you want a copy of the notes? Yes. Why, why sure. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have the secretary get right on that for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're really concerned. Thank you. Is there anything else you could tell us? Well, there was one thing. Uh, so, you see, uh, I corresponded with Jackson while he was traveling this uh, past couple of years, and, uh, well, he wrote me from a few different places. Uh, I know when he sent me those, he, he was in Hong Kong at the time. I didn't hear from him for a while. I, I got scared. So I did. Then he wired me from London. From Hong Kong to London? Yeah. Wound up in London. December 16th, just exactly one month ago today. Oh, Lord. One month ago, he, he was alive and right in New London. So he died exactly a month after he made it back here? No, 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 he was in London a month ago. Oh, <laughs> death story! <laughs> yeah, we're not in London. It's just, uh, here's the park that's, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't like that telegram. I didn't like that telegram. No, sir. No. No how, no way. Sounds like they're alive! No, you don't, you don't understand. The telegram I got from London, well, he wasn't himself. Uh, oh! It was... Just unbelievable things is what is what is what he referred to. It was fragmented at best. It was it it didn't sound like Jackson, but it was in his hand and uh, I don't know if he was scared for his life or or what was going on. Uh I don't know. I don't know. Do you have that yeah. telegram? <sighs> I'd kind of like to respect his memory and the great man and the great writer. He, he just, it was the ravings of a madman, to be frank with you. And I don't, I just want to honor him. I don't, I don't want to let anybody see it. It's okay. But among friends, you can trust us. Jonah. Well, I just listen. met you. I don't know you from Adam. You, I'm you, a lady. you could be with the press. You might. Well, you might tell him about. I think his mind was going Jonah, in the end. What? I, ha I have to be honest with you. We were the last people who saw Jackson before he died. We arrived at the scene while the bloody tongue, well, what I believe were the bloody tongue cult members. We're still there. And we are determined to find out what they did to him and why so that we can get justice for his death. Don't you want justice for him? I want Texas justice for him. <laughs> the only way that we can get 
you're American too. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> you're American. I just like to point out when somebody's behaving like an American. Like a red blooded American who cares about his friend Jackson. Oh! Exactly. We are three red blooded Americans who want Texas justice for Jackson Elias. And the only way that we can get that is if we have all the clues. You're I want to honor him right. just as much as you do. All right. I'll show you. I care about preserving his memory. I'll show you, but. Thank you. But this don't leave this room. I ain't letting you take it. I ain't letting you copy it. No. But I'll show you. You can deny its existence. Jackson. And he fumbles around in his desk for a minute. He actually unlocks his pocket. Um, and he's going to hand you guys ah! another paper. Yes. Nicely done. No. Cat, 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 cat. We did something right. So. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My lady. Teamwork. Yes. This is the telegram I received from Jackson on December 16th from London. And, uh, yeah. From the Hotel Metropole, Richard's Place, London. Oh, boy. It, it says many waves, many Farkas. Pretty sure it but doesn't say farts. All the song. <laughs> Do you want me to read again? <laughs> oh, read many farkins. Farkins. <laughs> <That's what laughs> many farkins. I don't know what it says. Like. <laughs> many names. <laughs> many faces. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> many names. Many faces. But all the same, and toward one end, like a collection of masks. What face is the real one? Is there a real one? What's underneath? Underneath is underlined. Need help. Contact everyone in New York. They're everywhere. More. More people on our side. No cops, though. Mm. They've got men on the inside. They are. The inside, everywhere I've been. Military, probably same thing. So much power at stake, lurking inside like a cancer. The librarian always has the answer. They don't gutter like a fish. Too big, too ghastly. These dreams. <sighs> There's something scratched out. Like, like Carlisle's. He's gotten inside my head. In my head! In my head, my head, my head. Head. Crazy. <laughs> Call Head Shrinker and check that psychoanalyst files. What if we're the same? Am I becoming him? Can't be. Can't be. All of them survived. We'll open the gate. Why? Why? What's in it for them? Do they think they're doing something else? The Great Deceiver. The Power. And the danger is real. Who's really evil here? <laughs> Some of them. Pawns. Who's the grand master? Pawn sacrifice is the safest move. Direct attack against the Black King would be insane. <laughs> As if that would stop whoever. Impossible to play to a draw. There's a sketch here that I'll show you in a second. Many threads beginning. Uh, unraveled. The books are in Carlisle's safe. Did he use them? He must. He must have known. Coming for me. Will the ocean protect? Fat chance. They're at work everywhere I've been. Surely they're in New York, too. Out to get me and bury their secret. Need allies. Endangering everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no quitters now. Far too late for that. 
should have quit long ago. Fool's crusade. Fool's crusade. Shine a light into the dark. Stand tall and make readers believe. Should I scream for them? Let's scream together. Here's a sketch. Oh. I don't have a digital version of this okay. one. The Historical Society put that one together. Anyone who'd like can read that. <gasps> you see what I mean? Interesting sketch. Ravings of a madman. I don't know what he saw. I don't know what they did to him. I don't know who they are. I don't know. I just don't know. Wait a minute. I don't think. Wait, what? Do not write on that. I'm not writing! Just put that pen down. Oh, so. Would you like to know? I know our dear departed friend. Uh, um. So we saw the body. Oh, my. And on the body, this symbol right here was on his forehead. That one there. You're this was. I, I'm pretty sure oh God. it had four things at the top, three things sacred, like, and then it was all in parentheses. My God. Wait, hold it up to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Delicate with it. So I'm like, um, uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah. Oh. That's the symbol. That is similar to the symbol. That does kind of look like it. That could yeah. Be, wait, do you still have the thing? Can you uh, he see? has the picture right here. Yeah, Rocky but has it. You guys have seen it a few times. No. Oh, yeah. Oh. There it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> that looks like it. And there this is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now what we have to figure out is what all these symbols mean. And why someone would carve this on? Well, now, well, now I'm thinking about it. Um, I am too. Uh, please, Ellen. <sighs> it was a lot, you know, to see someone you love with a <laughs> weird cult symbol carved in their forehead. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> I still haven't changed out of the outfit that I was wearing last night. And I'm still wearing one of his jackets that I stole from his closet. My god, I would have done the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really hitting right now, you know. Cause cause listen. I don't think he was crazy. I don't. I don't think he was crazy because I think he knew. He knew information that we're not even ready to know. He knew something so crazy from this crazy cult that we couldn't even... We would be writing crazy stuff too if we knew what he knew. My God. I need Prudence, yes. and I need Thelma to make a sanity check. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I cannot watch you roll your dice like that. <laughs> so upset at you. We have to roll above or below. For sanity, <laughs> uh, you're trying to roll below. Success. 46. I believe I also, yes, success. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Yeah, um, it's hard to make heads or tails of it. Um, Do, or is, is there anything else on here that, like, it is what recognize? it is. Nope. What you have is in front of you. Now, why, why, why are you writing that down? What did I say? No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Hey, oh, no. You, you said. You no, give me that there paper. No, I, what? I said you ain't gonna write this down. You're not gonna oh. take this. What? Uh, 
Do you want us to solve it or not? Ah. Persuasion. Okay. No. no. <laughs> Would you like to push? I absolutely will push it. How are you gonna look? Uh, oh, dear stakes. Uh, please look at Thelma. Look at how broken up she is. She's so broken over this. We must be able to take it for her. (laughs) Okay, you may push, and you may also roll a bonus die for bringing up Thelma. A bonus die. We've not done one of those before. Okay. So what you're going to do is you can have one of mine. You're going to roll another tenser. Ah, oh, yeah. Take- okay. It's kind of like rolling with advantage. And we're rolling persuasion? Yep. Okay. Are you kidding? What? There were 80 and 90. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me my die back. Ooh, they were 80 and 90, and it was one. Oh my god. So he just he looks at you as you're saying that, and he's just like, ah. oh, 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 oh. I can't I can't talk no more. Oh, it's still too wrong. Give me that there paper. Give me that. Wait. Wait. Okay. Give Jonah. Me your notes that you wrote I'm... down. He's he's taking yeah, everything you copied down. Different. Everything oh, that whoa. you copied down out of that telegram, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's all up here. <laughs> Give it oh to my. me. <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> you just lost your character. Oh. What you get Man. This is what you get for failing a pushed roll. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> the Sharpie. I was being smart at oh. boom. Eighty and ninety. Eighty and ninety. 80 and 90. What, what are they? Oh my god. Uh, if I'd rolled an eighty, it would have passed. It is not out of the realm of possibility for Thelma to roll. I'm gonna I'm I am gonna try to fix I'm tr- I'm gonna try to fix this. <laughs> fix my mess. So he is like he is like howling and bawling. Um, he's asking Eve at this point, just oh, just go. I can't talk about this no more. So I'm gonna be like, on prudence, go. Shit, I wait can't this outside. Part. Go wait but outside. You, you don't get to look at this because if, if I sharpie it, it'll bleed through here. Oh, okay. Uh, but you don't get to look at it. So okay. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say, Samantha? I said, Aunt Prudence, go outside. Give me a minute alone with him. Oh, very well. She she goes outside and she hops. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to Jonah, and I'm going to mm-hmm. pat him. I'm going to pat him on the arm. He is sobbing. <laughs> I'm going to... That's what it sounds like. I'm going to I'm gonna hold... I'm going to hold him. I'm going to give him a hug and just, you know, wrap my little arms around his giant body and just pat him on the head. And I'm going to say... <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. It's okay. He seems okay. really comforted by that, and he's just like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" His cowboy hat. I has have to off. apologize. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I have to apologize for my aunt Prudence. She's a very, Ooh, what's the word I'm looking for? Aggressive just, just woman. This is what happens when you fail a push roll. <laughs> <laughs> Blacked out his motherfucking notes. <laughs> I hope you remember what was in there. No. That's why I wrote it down. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going. 
I have to apologize for my Aunt Prudence. She's, well, to be really honest with you, she's the worst. <laughs> oh, I'm going to depression! We both knew Jackson Elias in different ways. Um, for me, the loss was a lot harder than it was for her. She's uh, the type of person who, when it comes to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the type of person that when it comes to sensitive emotional things, she just doesn't have... It's like there's something missing inside her. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do, I do. My daddy was the same way. <laughs> you know... We have to love them anyway. Even I though they hate don't my dad. <laughs> I know she made a mistake. She made a mistake and she tried to copy down the telegram after you said specifically not to do that. Right in front of me, too. And I know... Yeah, she she was not subtle about it. She was pretty bold about it, actually. Which is kind of how she is with everything. <laughs> she took um, the pin right off but, my desk. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was not... It was not cute. It was... It was sloppy. It was very sloppy of her. But listen. Even though the way she handled the situation was atrocious she does mean well in her way i think the thing is i know why you don't want anyone to see this because you don't want anyone to think that jackson was crazy you don't want him to you don't want people to remember him as this lunatic you want to, people to remember the funny Smart, handsome, beautiful, sexy, <laughs> yeah, very beautiful person that he was. I love him, and I feel the same. <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> I loved him too. I loved him too, and that's why I want to solve his murder. But I want to do it in a way that will honor his memory. I don't want to make him look like a crazy person. I want to show that this, this telegram, he wasn't crazy when he wrote this. He was on to something. And I want to know what he was on to. I want to go to Egypt I want to go to Kenya. I want to follow this trail and figure out what these symbols mean. But the only way that I can do it is if I can remember what the symbols are. I know you don't want this note to get out, and I don't either. But if you could just trust me to hold on to it and do my best to figure out what all this means without showing anyone else, I think we could solve this murder and show the world that Jackson was not crazy. He was a genius. The crying has stopped. <clears throat> There's a little snickle. <laughs> and he looks up at you, tears still streaming down his face, it's not coming out of his nose at this point, but his eyes are blazing with fury. And he looks directly into yours and says, You take these fuckers down. And he hands you the Texas. Motherfucking yes! Texas. <laughs> Texas justice. And I fold it up. And I put it in my bra. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> we're gonna get these bastards the way that they do it down in Texas with fury. God damn right. If you need anything, you just let me know. Old Thank Jonah you. will be there for you. Thank you, Jonah. It's a and Texas I know. size 10 4, good buddy. <laughs> 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 Great, my notes were blacked out just in time mm-hmm. to get the note back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God so, I get to look at you. you guys do indeed now have the London Telegram <laughs> in your possession. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even have to roll for that. No, you didn't. No. For the incredible yeah. role play, you did not <laughs> that have to amazing. roll. That was <laughs> 10 minutes of like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> worked him good. I was afraid you guys would have to come back and steal yeah. it or something. But now you got it. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> 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 does he have a cat? <laughs> um, with that chat, it is 11 o'clock. On the hour, that is where we're going to end it for tonight. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't jump back to y'all's scene. No, but that's no, fine. That's we fine. Could, that's couldn't break it. Like, plot sort of revelation, too. So, yeah, yeah this, this was a big thing. Texas, <laughs> Texas Justice. Texas Justice. Texas Justice. <laughs> All right. So, chat, stick around just a little bit longer. We are just going to do a couple shameless plugs. Um, and then we're going to do our outro, and we will go ahead and raid. So please stick around for the raid. Until that point, Frank, where can we find you? What do you want to plug? Uh, find me on the streets. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at It's Ya Buddy Boy, B-O-I, uh, on TikTok. <clears throat> and on Twitch. I will be streaming soon. So. Do you want to tell them what the, uh, the idea uh, or do you want to leave it for later? What do you think? It's up to That's you. up to you, buddy. It's your channel. It's to me? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, well, uh, me and Elijah want to full drag and uh, do some, like, drag it, do some screen queens by playing some horror games as queens. Yep. And we'll be the screen queens. Yep. Like, full <laughs> on makeup, that. personas, yeah. everything. Yes. So we will be in character. We've been debating names, and I want people. I, I can't decide on a name, and I really need help because, like, <laughs> Mango Pico. Mango Pico is a fantastic <laughs> name. I'm just, because I thought of Insertia. Insertia is good. good. Insertia. And then, <laughs> Insertia. <laughs> and Insertia is mine good. is toxic femininity. <laughs> I like to- oh. <laughs> From Mango- House of Detox. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, the, there's insertia hole as well, but I don't know if it. Oh my god! If it can just be like share. Ian said slip spurt. <laughs> slip spurt. That's a great one. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, yeah look for mean. that on the horizon. I uh, talk about it at this point. If that's going to be like a geekier stream or Buddy's own stream, I don't know. So, um, we'll see. but either way. That's what Buddy's got on the books right now. Look out for that. More details to come, I'm sure. Um, Kyra, Me, Kira, uh, what do you have to plug? Wait, we skip Sam. Well, there's no order, but oh, okay. sure, Sam, you go first. <laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> <clears throat> you can check me out on uh, Manninglicious on TikTok, kind of like Fergalicious, but with Manning, Manninglicious. I am posting videos on there again. Finally, I just posted one making fun of Grimes, so you should check <laughs> it out. Hey, they're really friggin' funny. I have like Ooh, I have like yelled watching also... your TikToks before. Oh, thank you. I wrote a whole review. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much. Also, if you see a street fundraiser fundraising for charity, sign up to donate to their charity. (laughs) Why would I say such a thing? (laughs) Just because. Just do it. Help a charity 
and help a fundraiser. <laughs> Kira. Um, you can DM me on Twitch. Uh, if you like the overlays that you see, I'm the one that did it. Um, Ian, yes, that's fine. Give us just a little bit to have our credits up, and then you're good. Just long enough for everybody to read that. Um, so yeah, Kira's doing commissions. Awesome. Uh, Kaden? And I will be streaming here on the Geek Your Nights Twitch tomorrow night, doing some art stuff. The uh, character portraits that you see right now cycling through, I did those, and I'll be doing more of those tomorrow night. So, cool. tune in. <clears throat> and of course, you can find me here on Geek Your Nights. Um, this show is my baby. It's what I look forward to all week. So if you like the show, please pop over into the Discord if you've not already. If somebody could drop the link. Um, yeah, head over to our channel. I'm pretty sure the text channel is now called the Waldorf Astoria instead of the Rusty Dragon. So it pop is. in there. Um, <laughs> tell us your likes. Hell, tell us your dislikes. Um, any way you think we can improve the stream or just if you like us and you want us to know. Um, that feedback means everything to us. We really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah. You can find me here. You can find me doing Dungeon Buddies on Saturday and uh, perhaps on some of the Ian's streams throughout the week. And also, whenever, uh, whenever we get this drag thing rolling around, I definitely plan on doing some of that with Buddy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, stick around for details on that. Um, but that's all we got for tonight. So, guys, without further ado, um, I'm just on, on the cusp of that amazing roleplay from our own Samantha Manning. What happens in the dungeon? <laughs> Stays in the dungeon. dungeon. Goodbye, everybody. Mm. 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 Mm.